Best to start recording. We do want to start start streaming. Okay, we are live. Corey, let us down. Welcome everybody to another episode of The Dungeons and the Dragons. Uh, I am here with Crew of the Enterprise, and this is episode seven. We are doing the module Isle of Dread, fifth edition conversion of an old campaign. Do this. There we go. The original module is like. 60 pages. Yeah, this is like <clears throat> all the parts of the original module and like more because it like came out in like like dragon whatever editions and there's like more parts of the Isle of Dread as they kept building on it, so it's fun. Anyway, who's doing a recap? What the hell happened last game? Because I was drinking. Previously on the Ship of Fools, we sailed to the Isle of Farshore to try to get a foothold at the Isle of Dread. <clears throat> and had previously had a skirmish with some fish people coming out of the water trying to drag us away. <coughs> so he kept a night watch with the ship anchored away from the port. And during the night, our good doctor, absent tonight, was busy making uh, bedroom eyes at various other crew members. And he was so hot. <clears throat> yes, he was, my dear, I'm sure. And neglected to notice that one of our crew members disappeared all of a sudden. <coughs> so, rouse an alarm, woke up the rest of us. Um, wake up, wake up, someone's missing. Well, no, actually, she just told us we were under attack, so we sailed away, yes. and then she said we were missing somebody. <laughs> so then we sailed back. <laughs> I forgot about that. So, rescue our uh, dragonborn crew member. Uh, so, oh, yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, they're gonna tell us to go save someone we didn't know was missing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't we, uh, oh, sure. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so we made up a small little rescue party to rescue our dragonborn friend, and pretty much walked into a trap where they were being set ablaze on a pyre, surrounded by more well, we fish people. Trap. We didn't know it was a trap. Yes. We knew it was a trap. They grabbed somebody, they drug him out, they put him on a stake, and. They're waiting for you to come in. Where are those uh, character cards and stuff? Oh, they're uh, oh. over here. I'll grab them for you. Okay. Oh. 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 Bring them on, Lagoon. We staged a valiant rescue effort while fighting fish people and manticores. And, uh, happened to also come across a wizard on the island staying at the inn that we previously uh, discovered. And after we managed to get away, uh, I was able to converse with them. I don't remember the wizard's name, but they said they were on the island with their sister who got captured by this fish cult. Mm -hmm. This cultism, old, ancient god, aberration of sorts. And they were in an underwater cave. Yes, guarded by a couple of giants, I think. Stone giants. And yes. <coughs> And other things. And we're just like, yeah, this is... You're certain they have manticores somewhere. Yes. Underwater manticores? No. They're made of rays. They're basically manticores. <laughs> Good <God. answer. laughs> So, also got an introduction with the, uh, the <laughs> druid uh, living in that tower we ransacked. And uh, returned the things that we stole and apologized for that. Did you turn them all? Um, yeah, I think he noticed everything, I think. Did we keep the harpoon gun? Or did we give it back? I you going to, gave, but he didn't really care. You gave back the harpoon gun. You didn't give back the plus one repeating rifle. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense for the first hold on to that. But he didn't see... He, did, he hasn't mentioned it yet, so... Uh, his name was Pratis. Pratis, yes. Mentioned that this cult is trying to orchestrate a convergence on this island to bring more nasty things into this play. But seem more concerned with hunting down the dragon turtle plaguing the waters. Yes, give me a second. Tobias uh, uh, Ballas. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> biggest. Trying biggest. to biggest. see incontinentia. Area 30, area 30, area 30. Oh, yes, and we did also activate Trey's alt character, one of the uh, Warforged in the bottom deck. 
I forgot gotcha. you guys did that. I was, I was really drunk. Yeah. And we got to introduce him to the group and figure out the extra two were supposed to be spare parts for him. Yes. Well, you you assume they're supposed to be spare parts, yeah. Yes. Yeah, they yeah. could be used as spare parts. I still think we should drop them into the cave and turn them on. Let them go nuts. Then <laughs> <laughs> when play takes assault, gets damaged. How do we fix them up? Oh well, I don't know. Doopa doop doop. Magic. What did I? What did I say? The turtle's head on a stick we carry with us. I want to say the name that I gave the fucking turtle was Moby Dick, but I didn't think I wanted to be that. I mean, that's essentially, yeah. I don't remember. Moby Turtle. Moby Wong. Moby. You know what? The artist Fuck formerly known as it's Moby. Moby Wong. <laughs> Moby Wong is the Help name. Help me, Moby Wong, can you be my only hope? I swear to God, I thought Moby there was Wong. a name for this fucking What's turtle it? in here. I'm looking at the turtle. I got stuff like Reservoir Dogs, there. that's what it was. Did you the movie where they're in the diner? Mm-hmm. And the boss is looking through that old Toby. 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 Toby, Toby Wong. Toby, Toby Wong. Fucking Charlie Chan. <laughs> I got Madonna's big dick in one ear over here. You know what? Fuck it. It's Moby Dick. Why? Because it is copyright free. Okay. That's His name is Moby right, Dick. Yeah. I swear to God, it wrote it down here at one point. Anyway, Moby Dick. I saw the trailer for the Quentin Tarantino movie. Hmm. Looks interesting. Yeah. Interesting. That's the word for it. All right. I think that's... Basically, all we accomplished last game. So you characters leave off on the ship, uh, the Arcanist, not the Arcanist, but the, uh, the Tiefling, uh, is still in his room, not on the ship, but he's still on far shore, waiting for you to go get him when you're ready to assault the cave. Oh, okay. Uh, Pratis, he's not kind of I forgot him. He would only go no. with you if you were going to assault the cave. <clears throat> But, uh, Pratis is waiting uh, by the shore. He says he gives you times in which he will show up every day. Uh, it's not exactly, no, no, he has a mechanical watch. He actually gives you a time, which is weird because most people say midday. Or like, you know, when the sun reaches this point. Because most people don't have physical watches, but he has an actual watch. Um, so he says that and he says where he'll meet you. And this will be there every other day. So he able to part amicably with him. Well, meet up with him well I'm never going to see him muscle. again. We're just going to leave him going there every other day for the rest of his miserable existence. Well, he's going back there every day anyways because he, he has a home. He needs to secure that against people that might rob him. Weird. <laughs> Weird, right? He did Weird. offer us a rent of invisibility. That would be real helpful. You're right, so we should go take it. Yeah. That would go over well. Go. Go on and take him. Yeah. Yeah. Let me look at his staff log. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love your elves. <laughs> Actually, no. You guys surprised me. You guys have killed some crazy shit. Yeah, I mean, you, you can go murder him if you wanted. You can do anything. You can go anywhere. <laughs> on the Isle of Dread. This motherfucker's like lost. <laughs> Where are you? Bye! <laughs> Oh okay. god, a smoke monster. Alright, let's go find a new mission, guys. So I'm here done we with this island. We steal a ship. Become pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Screw this campaign. Give them our ship. <laughs> Make it awkward. We'll just change ships and we can be great. Ship swap. Yeah. I love that show. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna sail away though. Because this place feels out of our depth. Okay. Yeah, if you, if you don't want to do it. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, save the world, fight a giant sea turtle, <coughs> a dragon turtle? No. Okay. Yeah. We need a couple levels, yeah. Common Not sense, you do know that dragon turtles are dragons. So, and you know dragons are dangerous. So, we need three or four levels. We'll see what my passive wisdom thinks about dragons being dangerous. I got a three. <laughs> dragon turtles ain't shit. <laughs> turtles, turtles aren't dragons. The dragons turtles. aren't turtles. Like how big? How big could a dragon turtle be? Like this big? How big can a turtle be? That be? big? You saw a turtle once about the size of like you know like 
like a person, but you know. That was a tortoise, that wasn't a turtle. <laughs> Tell him that with a wisdom score. <laughs> <laughs> so the dragon turtle doesn't seem like a bad idea to you. So do we want to. Uh, We're going to sail away. Is it the locals on the shore or find a different point of entry on the island? Hmm. Well, see, the locals don't ever go beyond the wall, so I don't know that I believe that they would have much information for us. No, well, more than we would, as far as tales of the island. They've been here longer than us. I say I can't comprehend other languages, yeah. but I can only speak so many, so I don't know if we would be able to communicate with them. Wouldn't be a bad idea to go out there and check it out. At least see who's considered local here, what they're doing. And uh, hey, if they're in the, you know, they live in the area, so they probably have something in particular yeah. that's annoying them. Maybe, oh, yeah. Tell us about that. All right, so let's go so. check out some locals. Okay. Would we like to go to north, east, or west locals? Not southeast. Yeah, that's right. North by the wall. Don't go. Why not? Go right to the wall. Go to the wall, see if there's cities out that far. All right. So go to the wall, work our way back towards civilization if there's nothing out there, slash try to find some locals. How's that sound? Sure, yeah. We can at least scout ahead. All right. Because we've got, like, a magnifying glass or telescope at least, right? Just for... You do have a telescope. You possess one. We're gonna leave here. We're gonna go up. Basically, we're going to that hex where the wall is. Yeah, we're gonna sail our way up there. So yeah, sailing up there, just check out the wall, and then so you want to check out the wall and, and sail back this way to the whatever nearest settlement. Uh, and then see, see if there's people at the there wall. There is a settlement. I'll point them out. So a settlement, settlement here on the wall. Oh, there is one on the wall. There's all these oh, black yeah. dots here. Yeah, right? yeah. And then the then pretty much where you see a all these are settlements as well. Okay. So yeah, we could just go straight to the wall. There should be people there to talk to right by there. See the bathrooms <coughs> on the wall. Let me pull up my one note. I mean, what could possibly be so bad with your wall? Yeah. I mean, who would need like a giant? I'm trying to wall? keep them out, right? <laughs> yeah. Not anything bigger than a giant <laughs> Donald Trumps. This is to prevent deforestation on the island. Nice. Hey, while I'm looking this up, can you get me a donut? I'm gonna eat one. Sure. Uh, any preference? I don't no, know. Exactly. I'll just take one. It's sobering because it's made up all the sugar. Hmm? <sighs> yeah, if you could shrink. Well, yeah. no, leave the sugar on. I'll be fine. Okay, making an area called Isle of Dread. <coughs> I just wanted to get that uh, blue colored Kool Aid and fill one of these with it. <laughs> just go somewhere and drink it. Yeah. Jeez, <laughs> I guess a squirt bottle? <laughs> yeah, just literally just fill it full and then twist the lid off. What? Look at the kid right in the eye. <laughs> like right in the eye. Like you think it's a good thing. Like you're going to cause people to like eat dish detergent. <clears throat> you're that guy. You started the trend. What? Garthol, record. I just gotta look at my generator real quick. Uh, permalink, great. Okay. Uh... Thanks, Fox News. Dems lose patience with complete fraud. AOC <clears throat> rally to Pelosi's side. What? That's what, Fox News That's what Fox News thinks. That's what Fox News thinks. I don't fucking They're know. losing patience with AOC? Yeah, complete fraud AOC. That's a score. <coughs> and rally behind Pelosi. Oh, yes. yes. Since I first got our sponsor be. tonight, Hertz Donuts. Please sponsor us. <clears throat> we'll take any spot, really, anything. Please. We're all broke. We need it. Okay. Okay. So, give me a second. I am uh, creating some stuff. And my 
Generating a world takes a minute. Sorry about that. What are you randomly generating? I have to generate like small stuff in a town. I don't have to use all of it, but. <coughs> Prop your feet up on Corey's belly. Yeah. He wouldn't mind. Yeah, he'd encourage it, in fact. <coughs> Dig my big toe into his belly button. Yeah, swiggle your big toe. <laughs> I'll wiggle my big toe and think about the Chinese Kung Fu master that taught me. Mmm. Crack on, pie, man. Mm. Oh, that's good. All right, I'm stop. All right, back to Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent, sign me up. It was an excellent Sylvester. So, you have heard the word of God today? <laughs> Every day, brother. <laughs> God. All right. I'm done with that. So, what do you see? You go to area, a page. Okay. As you're sailing by, you do see a small port. It may hold one boat at best that leads into a trail along the coast. Uh, could you hand me one of your maps real quick? Can point to it. On this map, as you go by, you do see the edge of a great wall. The wall is maybe uh, 50, feet, 50 feet high. Uh, it is thick timber, aged timber. Some stone. Thick with two C's. Yes. <laughs> Mm. Very it's an exciting. Wall. I like my walls. <laughs> uh, the wall, the wall does have a uh, a rampant upon the top, which appears to be walkable. But you'd have to get like fifty feet above the thing. You have to climb up the entire thing, and then maybe you can walk on top. You're guessing possibly like it's patrolled, and that that's kind of like the walkway up in there that they uh, that they would walk along this great wall. We do see areas of light at night. Where the wall is lit, you're guessing it's probably where there's guards. Uh, there's not a lot, but you, you're guessing this uh, this this wall, which is massive, is maybe, if this map is true, thirty miles long. That's a huge wall. Hmm. Uh, you don't think it's all wall because you do see like some uh, tall, rocky, mountainous areas that are cut out of it. But you think the wall covers the parts that are not. Uh, much deeper into the forest, you do see lights. The lights of a village beyond the harbor. But it is much deeper into the forest. And the trees are very thick in this area. As you do sail up and down the coast, you do see the occasional, what appears to be a farm in the distance. Uh, you don't see people in the farm, but you do see a farms. And you do see crops that are being grown. You're guessing if they're working, they might see you, and they might be hiding. Uh, but oddly enough, you just don't see people. You do see signs of settlement, but no people. Uh, occasionally, along the coast, you do see carvings. Carvings along uh, what appear to be coral or rock. Uh, pictures of squid-like creatures dragging people. Uh, Pictures of squid like creatures, much like the creature that you saw before, uh, appear to be subjugating elves. Specifically, at one junction of a rock, you see a bunch of elves, at least they appear to be elves, dressed in rags, kneeling before a uh, giant uh, creature with a lo long tentacle face. Must be Zod. Yes. Nearly in front of him. That sounds like Cam to me. <laughs> Come on. 
Uh, do you have any questions? Things that you're doing during this time? <coughs> things that you think you're going to do? You haven't said you're docking or anything. So. so the wall, does it go down to the water? Does it go into the water? It goes past the water. That turns to stone. And it goes about, uh, you'd have to say about 800 yards past wow. the edge of the water. So it goes pretty deep in. Dang. Does it stay 50 feet tall to the bottom of the ocean? 50 feet tall up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like somebody built this thing. You have not seen many walls that extend to the ocean. And it's very difficult to. Impressive. You have to build them deep. It would take magic. So, uh, and this is us. Are we in the wall square then at this point? Hex? You're along the coast. Okay. You haven't docked. So if you dock, you tell me you're going inland. And I can describe more. Why don't we sail like one square north of the wall and just look around and see what's past it? See what's beyond it. Okay. <clears throat> Time for that. Sure. We'll skip them for now and keep going forward. All right. What is the area to? This is the part where Samuel L. Jackson gets, gets on the helicopter and takes off the wall. That wasn't an awful movie. It wasn't great. What movie? Kong's going on. Oh, never saw it. That's it. Um, you're in a boat, so you seem fine for now. Past the, past the wall, it begins to div in to a cove. You sail into the cove, which is a large dip inland. No, not yet. No, yeah, you sail past the cove. Mm -hmm. We get our telescope. We're looking. Uh, so you would sail to the edge <coughs> of the square if you're not going into the cove. Mm. Dense jungle. Yeah, I'll put it in the nearest area. No. Uh, a lot of dense jungle. Uh, you roll me uh, perception checks. Who? Uh, all of you. No. Since we're all looking. Depending on what you roll, that's what you'll see. Perception. Uh, 21. 21. 21. 25. Nice. <coughs> 21. In the beginning of the day, as you pass the cove, you do see fins. Lots of fins. This looks to be shark infested waters. You're guessing going in them would be very dangerous. So going beyond the wall, just swimming, would be nearly suicidal. It seems to be a shark breeding pit. You've seen these before. And the island you were in was surrounded by them. That's why you were never able to leave. Shark breeding pet. What are you going to do? Build a small boat? Have it capsized by sharks? Get eaten? Suicide. But, you do see the mast of a ship sticking out of the water. One that has been sank. Possibly sank by entering the cove. Coves do have rocks. They do have shallows. They are known to be dangerous. That's why normally you rowboat into a cove. You don't actually sail into a cove. Because of the coral. That's what, what you say. Suddenly. <laughs> so you are on board the plan for tricking the druid guy, killing him and stealing his submarine. Not killing. Okay, it's like <laughs> beat him up, steal his submarine and move on. Hey, come after us. We'll now. give him an IOU. It'll be fine. So... <laughs> <laughs> Your you just since you rolled a natural twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, off the coast. Off the coast. You see. Let me look and let me double check what I'm about to tell you. Actually, something you could see. I think I labeled these things. Uh, area. Also not a good no. <clears throat> yeah, you see an odd sight. Along the coast, just for a moment. You see this weird squirrel-like creature. Uh, it has a uh, long tail, big eyes, as a walking staff seems to be running along the coast, just quickly, and then it runs back into the trees. You're like, wow, that's fucking weird. And then you see a gigantic spider, bigger than a man. Come out of the trees, follow the tracks, start sniffing, and then runs in the trees. Back where they got that squirrel thing. Back where the squirrel thing with the staff <coughs> and a backpack went. Did that? Anyone see the squirrel man? Have we been out at sea too long, Smoot? <clears throat> there was a squirrel man with a staff and a backpack. He ran along the beach. And into the trees. I saw him. He was chased by a giant spider. Gross. Are you sure this was a man and not just a beast of some sort? It looked like a squirrel with a backpack and a stick. Squirrels generally don't wear backpacks. Not any squirrel I know. Must have gone back to school. Late for the bus. <laughs> the spider's a whole matter. But uh, the spider was very large. It just seemed to be tracking the squirrel man. The squirrel man hold an interest to you. I don't like seeing anyone chased by spiders. Spiders are icky. No, rather distasteful, yes. You proposing we mount a rescue of this squirrel man? To do so, we'd have to get past these shark-infested waters safely somehow. So was the squirrel man on the beach Inside the you, cove, you pass the shark. <coughs> oh, pass that was a side. So if, if I was a trace of the island, you got here, you got a cove, and then you start going up, and then this is where the squirrel map is. Oh, okay, okay. How far past the wall are we? Uh, you are a good 30 miles past the wall. Each hex is 30 miles. So, to your point, so do we need to do some sail checks or anything? Uh, we'll get to those. Okay. I'm uh, Now that we're inside the aisle, I'm actually toning those down. During like long sea travel, I'll I'll make those uh, more apparent. It's not like thirty; it's more like five or six. You've only got about ten or twelve miles, but on boat, that's quite a ways. And the entire island's like maybe a hundred miles by like uh, 30, 60, 90 miles. See, what are they going to do to spider people? The map's not completely accurate. The spiders want to cross. The spiders are spreading. No wonder there's a wall. Huge spiders. Ugh. But spiders can climb, so why build a 50 foot wall? Obviously, there's grease on the side of the wall. <laughs> Spider rat Spider rat. Eight legs all grappling <laughs> each other. Tonight at the Dirty Dingo. Come watch spider wrestling. Tickets made the whole seat, but you only need the A. <laughs> I think I just found the hook for my new bar. <laughs> now 
Which Come on design. down to Edwin's Smooth Spider Wrestling Bar and Grill. I just need to find a giant spider to twirl the wrestle. All right. How hard could that be? Uh, we want a stage of rescue. I don't know. Uh, do we want to? Yes. We do? You're the one who spotted the, the squirrel man. You're a twin. I have a morbid curiosity to see what this squirrel man thing is. And you know what? I don't think Tony's prepared to anything. check you out and make sure. I don't think Tony's prepared anything for this, so. No, no, I have Let's prepared go. stuff. I have to look. Uh, have you read this part? I'm, I have read this part. Damn I just it. gotta. Okay, this is no good. Other side of the island. Let's yeah. go. We need to find the part that you haven't read yet. Well, there's, there's plenty of fucking of that. Uh, Wait, what kind of island is this? Big sexy kind. <laughs> <laughs> oh my my goodness gracious Scarlet please continue the veto you already tried to cost us our lizard man who was the guy that she was macking on uh, quill sharpener yeah. was he another dwarf uh, quill sharpener I have hotlines for you. I think I've missed my time of the month. Oh, God. <laughs> Quit, Corey. Roll for the time of the month. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's... Wrong game for that. Yeah, maybe. Wait a second. I have to watch up some Looking through my spells. See if there's anything at the distance I could use to... Help out said squirrel man. Squirrel man, squirrel man, do the things that a squirrel man can. Wait, if it's squirrel girl, then she's fine. She doesn't need yeah. help. She can. She can defeat the animals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, area 14. Where the fuck is 14? Give me a second. Give me a second. It's after area 13. Yeah, I know, but this, this entire map is fucking like crazy. Oh. Uh, let's get up by each other. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, uh, let me draw it out. So that we have some kind of, uh, uh, uh reference, right? So, I need a black pen. This one will represent the coast. Okay. This one will wrap any <coughs> shit. Get over here. Uh, your characters. So this is the wall, right? Here's the lower area of the wall that right. makes it like go around like this part of the island. Right? Your characters then see a cove, right? Mm -hmm. Here's a cove. You don't know this side of the island, but you get there and there's here. It starts to go up here. So the cove is this area right here, right? This is the area that you've deemed that if you fly into, or you, you, you yeah. boat into, you might have to make some checks or else have some issues. Right off the coast, you definitely see the ruins of a boat and a bunch of fucking sharks. So that boat didn't have a flag for the mask? Uh, no. There might have been a flag at one point, but it's probably wrong. Okay. The... <coughs> Because you said you only wanted to check out a hex, so this is about a hex yeah. in size, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And this, right here, grab another color. Right here is the beach, because you were, you, you, your boat basically would start here, went around, it was like, oh no, fuck that. And then got to here and it was about to turn around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Past the shark infested waters. You are just past the shark infested waters, yes. So, I could. Are we within 120 feet of the shore? Oh, no. No, no, no. You are much farther away than 120 feet. 120 feet, you'd be risking uh, being adrift. That would be on the beach. Okay. Because the water, because the slope of water goes like this, it, it gets very gradual. You're maybe, you would guess about, uh, probably about three, four football fields away. 
So it, it's it's a decent distance. You could definitely boat up there, but it's going to take a couple minutes. I'm going to take the rowboat though out there. <coughs> you do have a you do have a rowboat. So two far to cast any spells. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any spells to go that far. I could cast Skyrite, try to convey a message to send Squirrel Man. And that's assuming that Squirrel Man speaks a few more languages. And looks up while he's running from a spider. Yeah, because there is a beach and then dense jungle beyond. And possibly you see some mountains in the distance beyond. Other so mountains. we could go about this two ways. We could go willy nilly into the rowboat on the beach into the dense jungle. Or we can go back south, try and make nicer from the locals. Get some intel, and then go back north. <clears throat> That'd probably be the smarter thing to do. But we're not known for smarter. Yeah. No. I want to go see what the squirrel man thing is. Okay. Aye, Captain. It's unusual. <laughs> <laughs> make sure my first mate is sane still. And if not, we can just maroon him here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You uh, begin to row, you anchor the ship. Yeah, we're going to take us, I'm bringing Lagoon, anyone wants to bring anyone else? Companions. Do we have a doctor besides Scarlet? That's a good question. There is one character who is technically a healer. Uh, the healer, uh, Gremrin Falabak. I like the yes. dwarf. The male or female dwarf? I think it's a uh, male. Female. Male? Yeah. Gremrin Falak. Would you like to bring him with us? I think we should. Oi, Captain! Because what if Squirrel Man is hurt? Was it a man or female? You have no idea. Squirrel thing. Look like a squirrel person. It wasn't hung noticeably enough for you Did to see it for giant, sure. Giant testicles below it. Giant tits. You couldn't you, tell. It's a squirrel, not a tanuki. Tanuki. Just, <laughs> tanukis are mostly balls. Mm. Pretty much, yeah. Would you like to bring anyone? Um, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I'd like to bring Jesus. Jesus, join our party. We'll just have him. Jesus used create food. No, he'll be our navigator. He can take the wheel. Wrong Don't wheel, Jesus. Oh. Just go. Yeah, I heard noises upstairs. There we go. <clears throat> See, Trey might be here too. There's motion at the front door. Anyway. Uh, just that streak you got in the neighborhood. Oh, hey. Hey, you invited down anyway. Come on down. We can subscribe to the table. The table. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but large, ugly, hairy men here. It's a very select finish. <laughs> anyway, it's um, called a pair of finish. So while you guys are trying to, uh, I will give you guys to the end of this timer to figure out who you're gonna bring with you. Uh, Which I don't think any of you can see. I can see. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll bring the dragonborn with us again. The one that we just rescued. He seemed pretty handy in his uh, firebolts and fire breaths. <clears throat> I'm sure it doesn't want to be anywhere near the good doctor for a while now, too. <laughs> the less watch she's keeping on me, the better. <laughs> right. If I'm within any sight of her, I'll get into trouble so The bad. doctor will stay behind. She's like, oh, man, the ship. So, yeah. We I'll got, ship the man. I'll be bringing Grimbalust along. Okay. Uh, Neil's bringing a uh, healer. Um, Grimrim. <clears throat> Fuck. Gazente. And you're bringing. I'm bringing Lagoon. Your, <coughs> character? Yep. Lagoon. Alright. 
three man party just turned to a six man party. It's a six man party, don't stop. Bring on the fireballs. All right. So your characters begin to row on shore. We don't wait for Trey. This point, he should almost be here if he's coming anyway. Mm. Mm-hmm. And there's motion at the door. It doesn't mean he's here. Could have been. It could have been my wife. I don't even know if Trey's coming. Did he say he was coming? He yeah, just said he's not coming. Yes, that's true too. We'll see. All right. Anyway, he's tentatively maybe coming. He'll show up at some point. Okay. He's a he's a wild card. All right. So you sail upon shore. As you sail upon shore, uh, you how do you dock your boat uh, on the shore? You maybe carry it in past the tide. Yeah, but the trees in, are tie it to a tree. Tie it to a tree. That way, in case you have a high tide, you don't maybe lose anything. Yeah, I say camouflage it up some <clears> shit. Uh, Laguna make it all very hidden. You see a gigantic forest, dense before you. Uh, this is this is a forest like little others could comprehend. Are so, there any giant webs? Uh, you do not see any giant what? webs. Footprints. Ah, somebody rolled me a survival check. Perception first, <coughs> and then survival. Since you asked Neil, you're the one that gets to roll. Okay. What time of the day is it? Uh, it is uh, afternoon. It is mid noon right now. <laughs> mid noon. Yeah, 12.30. It's the mid between <clears throat> mid. Survival first, you said? Yes. How does a six strike you? Definitely a strikes me. Uh, you're having trouble. Does anybody want to assist him? Uh, yes. Lagoon will assist. Lagoon will assist, as Lagoon has a perception skill. Uh, well, he has survival. I thought that's what you were going for. Oh, no, no, no. Survival. He has survival. Otherwise, so I will assist with perception. Yeah. But, uh, if you assist with perception, then you can reroll. I will assist with perception. Okay. No, look over there. Ow. Gotta take the scales off your eyes. Okay. <clears throat> Eleven. The blue See, stuff is watched. Better. We're on the land. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's almost twice as good. Eleven isn't bad. Eleven isn't bad. In a game where like a, a high skill at twenty is like eight. Eleven isn't bad. Um uh, okay. Yeah, your character does notice some footprints. Uh you're able to easily point them out. Um But to follow them through dense jungle, that that takes a tracker. Lagoon can do that. Ah, oh, Lagoon could have done that. I'm just like sea captain. I'm not crazy. What, what, is, what are what these is... tracks? Are these spider tra- giant palm tree size, you know, indents in the ground? Or are these squirrel man tracks? What kind of tracks? Does he have knowledge in nature at all? Uh, I mean, he would, yes, but this one, no. Uh, I'll say he can make the roll. He's got he survival did... and investigation is what the... Uh, I'll, you know, because of tracks, and because it's track related, I will have him make a survival check. Uh, all NPCs, if they're trained, it's a six. So a, a, uh, for that's for saves, that's for skills, that's for everything. Oh, it's just six plus your roll for everything? Six plus your roll. So okay. six is pretty good. But they can make the roll and they're considered trained. Uh, 22. 22, Jesus. Uh, yes, he sees <laughs> both, uh, he bo- sees both uh, a three-toed, one very long back toe, or thumb-like appendage. Uh, he thinks this is that monkey person you were talking about. He says it's, it's a footprint like none he's ever seen before. It has uh, uh, what appears to be, uh, it's it's more like a hand than a foot, is uh, the feet tracks are. But it's like very long uh, finger limbs, very dense, they dig into the sand. Uh, there's definitely a tail because there's uh, the fluttering behind it every once in a while, where a tail would like maybe smack against sand, uh, and it's much older uh, than the spider tracks, which are following it, which are long, deep imprints, circular, about fist deep, or about fist size. Mm-hmm. Definitely follows 
and they're very far apart, so you would guess it is a very large torso. Uh, it follows it to the <coughs> north. He thinks he can follow it into the jungle. He thinks it's going to get a little bit uh, harder in the jungle. He does say that even though it is noon, it's going to be a little dark in the jungle because it's so dense. But he pulls out a machete. He's like, well, what does your character say? Lodge, because Lodge is your other character, right? No, I don't know. Lodge is me. Uh, oh. Lagoon. Oh. Lagoon. 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 Uh, Lagoon says, what is Lagoon's race? What does it say? He is a halfling. Halfling. But he's supposed to be from whatever, like, the most distant country slash alien country. Took that far traveler background for him or whatever. The oh, right, 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 right. Outlander, he's, maybe. He's from, like, like the that, democratic yeah. free states of Tatisha, but to the south, the halfling lands. You know, near the ogre hills. But that's your, that, that is your backup character, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so what would he say? I don't have time to fucking... <laughs> I don't want to give him an accent or something that he would, you don't think he would have. Well, see, I'm down with an accent. I had been actually meaning to talk to you about like where he was from and that kind of thing, because I was trying to have him be That's basically fine. kind of weird and out of... We're, we're not going to get a backstory with him. Okay. Uh, let's just say he has a Tratiste accent. He says, yes, I think I can do it. Okay. Because he feels like he's certain that he can dig in this jungle and that he can follow oh. his tracks. I can but do he, it. But he, I... does, but he does say, it might take a while. We might be camping for a night. It's midday. That's fine. We're in no hurry. Got to find where the squirrel man is, or woman. Might be a lemur. <laughs> no, so a lemur. That's oh, right. Yeah, away from back to the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want any filthy lemurs on our ship. <laughs> you start digging uh, with uh, lagoon skills. Uh, he's able to clear a little bit of a path because he's a halfling. He can't clear very high. Uh, maybe your character behind <laughs> Don't him. Don't shame him. No, we'll with just pick your... him up and use him as like a tool. <laughs> <laughs> Keep swinging. Your character with a great sword. You're able to cut down vines. Uh, you're able to clear some some way. Maybe bring one machete with you. You have a couple on the ship, uh, mostly for woodworking, but you do use them for clearing the forest. Um, you're able to get machete for woodworking. <laughs> Okay. Um, Gotta put that need for peg legs somehow. I need mean, everyone to roll me a d6. Two, three, three, and two. Okay. Uh, roll me another perception check at advantage because you were being assisted. And depending on what he does, is whether you roll normally or with disadvantage. 19. 19, <clears throat> normally, for a survival check. Lagoon here, I assume? It is a difficult CR. Uh, only a 9. 9 total. Yep. Okay. So you travel right, for about... can't get surprised. <laughs> I got my sword. <laughs> True. You no, travel around surprised. for about 3 hours. There is no encounter. But you haven't found him yet. Do you continue? Yes, double our efforts. Double your efforts. Okay, perception is check again. 18. 18, survival check. 18. 18, nice. Everyone roll me a d6. Three, three, four, four five. five. No counters. What? So, this island isn't dangerous at all. I don't think we're worried about it. Isle of Dread? Dreading what? A nice vacation? <laughs> Boredom? <laughs> like Goofy, trailing through the jungle on a hunt, not seeing the tiger walking behind him. Uh, you travel for about another two hours. It's starting to get dark. At this point, it's uh, closing around uh, six o'clock. <laughs> oh. Sorry, head on. Uh, the jungle is thick. Uh, but it eventually, but does catch his eyes every once in a while. He sees a little bit of webbing. A little bit of webbing here. A little bit of webbing there. It appears to be an area that appears to have been cleared out. Eventually, 
halfling lagoon. Finds a walking staff. Looks at it. It's very short for him. For him? For him. Wow. It's not too short, but it's definitely smaller than a halfling. Meant for somebody that's maybe about two feet tall. Does it look familiar? Looks exceptionally familiar. Mm. Has a small pouch at the end of it. Pouch appears to be holding some things. They appear to shake. Oh. He... Open up the pouch. Oh, you open up the pouch. Uh, some animal bones. Uh, appears to be uh, some pieces of metal. Uh, you appear to see uh, an interesting looking piece of iron. Does it seem like spell component kind of things? Pull me an arcana check. Okay. Yeah, you do the arcana check. Yeah, I'll show you how to yeah. arcana. It's not like I can just identify it in a minute. But yeah, you think we have an entire minute? We spent five hours in this jungle so far. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen, you say? Yes, it does appear spell component. You do notice one more thing. It's weird. So that piece of metal, as you turn it over in your hand, it appears to have this, I don't know what you call it. It, it looks like a flat piece of maybe some kind of brittle metal. It's got some weird uh, pieces of other metal that are just sticking out of it. Uh, it, it, it has this, the weirdest feeling, uh, you wouldn't call it metal, but it, it, it feels like some kind of loose, weak stone, um, uh, pieces of copper, but seem purposely made, seem to be just sticking out of it, and uh, uh, in the front of it, you it looks like a weird uh, symbol is carved into it. It looks like a upside down A. And uh, it appears to be... Uh, flip it upside, right side up. You flip it right side up, it now <laughs> looks like a normal A. Uh, the pieces are now still jutting down. Uh, one of them is a long, spindly piece of copper. It just seems to hang off of it. And uh, it appears to be like, maybe made of like some kind of like hard glass is embedded into the, like the copper face. To use magic device as a skill in this. No, it's not. Dang. Okay. Captain, may I identify the iron <laughs> piece for you? Ooh. Here, check this out. <laughs> Look at this. I cast identify as a ritual, taking one minute. Cast identify as a ritual for one minute. Identify specifically tells you the function of something and how it's used. The function of this is this is a button. But that's all you get. This is a button. It's broken. Oh. It's a piece of something else. It's a button. Like a clothes button or like a big, no, red, button. Button. big red button? Uh, this is what it looks like. If I was to draw it out. So, so the shabby bits is like this. And this is not very large. Here's that upside down A, right? If it was facing from it. There's a piece sticking out of the back of it, right? Weird, it's got these little pieces. Let's see the stick out of it. The front of it, it looks like this. I'm also a terrible artist. It's supposed to be a hexagon. But this is a game of imagination. Pretend I'm a great artist. <laughs> Tony, that's amazing. Well, you gotta roll for it, Tony. Yeah. You drew a perfect hexagon. So you got these pieces that shut out of the back. 
can you fix it? To fix this would require to find whatever this was ripped from to begin with. By itself, it is simply a lever to activate something. Do I recognize the A symbol at all? Never seen it before. Like, it's shaped like an A, but then it's got lines above it, a dot, and something that goes across the top. I'm not sure we're going to find your squirrel man anymore. So if we look up, is there anything dangling from the branches? <laughs> <coughs> you look up, there's nothing dangling from the branches. However, hanging on to a branch, <laughs> <laughs> or standing on a branch. Cocooned in a branch up there. You do eventually begin to travel on finding nothing else in this area. As you travel on though, eventually you do hear in the distance. <laughs> Flying above the tree branches towards the sound, you see a griffin. It's much higher. Just flies. You just see its outline as it flies, diving past you in the trees way, way above. Way past you, and it seems to, you hear a crash in the distance. And you hear, <laughs> scream for help. We should Bad. probably head that way. <laughs> Quickly, my friends, towards the danger! Let's go check it out. Griffins are beasts. Much like, are tigers good people? Well, it's a tiger. It's a lion, it is. I'm a goddamn tiger. Okay. Griffins are intelligent, aren't they? Griffins? Like, yeah. Uh, At least in Pathfinder, they were. Enough. They're 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 like they're like the intelligence of a horse. Hmm. You know, it's like a lion with a bird head. You know, not quite as smart as a well, about the intelligence of a cockatiel. So really Cockatiels stupid. Are dicks. Now so are griffins. I'm well, go ahead and cast right. mage armor on myself as we press further. Okay, you burn mage armor. That's up for the next eight hours. Yes. Uh, go ahead and move your maps off the table. I will need those. You don't need our maps. No, I'm gonna need to take. Them. Someone build me a dense jungle. You're a dense jungle. Hey. Hey. Okay, these aren't tropical trees. Immersion destroyed. That's it. Thanks, it's Obama. It's a tropical temperate forest. There you go. Okay. Uh. okay. How dense are we talking here? Pretty dense. Just make this like one chunk. Just group all the trees together and we will just try to navigate there. <laughs> we have one lizard man, one paladin, we have a sorcerer, I think I hear the sounds of one gunslinger coming. Why was it a lizard man and then the rest were classes? Because <laughs> I'm a lizardist. Uh, anyway, we got a halfling. Trey, Trey, Trey. Did you see the pizza? Yeah. They didn't have any cheese. Motherfuckers. Kill them, kill them all. Hey, just because they have a very awkwardly close relationship with their mother. They're still motherfuckers. Would you have brought a companion with you? Doing what? Uh, oh, so Neil apparently saw some kind of squirrel man thing, which sounds unrealistic. We're going to check it out. It was on the beach. We were chased by a giant spider, and they went in the trees. We sailed away from the far shore, where we were, decided <laughs> not oh, yeah. to take up. So we're up, like, by the wall. Just north yes. of the wall. Yeah. Just to check so out So we've the said, door. fuck that, to fuck hunting fuck the cave. We could come back to it, but for now, yes, we're saying fuck that. There, there's a rather large pin in it. Yes. So we're sailing up the coast just to check out more of the island, sailing past the wall, and 
male spotted a squirrel, squirrel person, person being chased by a giant spider on the shore. So we decided. Is your character part dog? <laughs> you can No. <laughs> <laughs> There's the dwarf. There is the dragon folk. There is the half. He's on to me. <laughs> it's you. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a me. It's a me, Mario. Okie dokie. <coughs> we probably have our you guys found in the back. Yeah. Yeah. You guys found a remnant. Give me solid, Give me solid bro. <clears throat> Give me power. Oh, you power, power. Yeah, power was with you the whole time. Yeah, I need some more power. power. <laughs> Unlimited power. No. Say it right. It's unlimited power. <laughs> Soul is mine. Uh, I don't know. I thought we were just throwing out like fun one liners. Don't Why not? Yeah, worth a try? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Don't ask why. Alright. No. Um, hey Tony, can you have a you have a charger over there for the tablet? Would I have brought for yeah. this mission? So, no, I would not have brought uh, a, a companion. All right. White screen. Okay, there we go. Uh, he brought. We brought why, a healer guy. Why is it going to be a white screen? You brought well, my dragon boy. I thought maybe it was like the white screen of death. Why does the white screen have to be death? Because um, white people are the best at death. Yeah, we got it down to a science. You know, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Anybody want a free blanket? <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> well, here's Joe's character. He's going to make now. more Kennedys. Hey, I got a couple more of this. So, this guy dies. Guess who's going to come looking? Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> He's extra vulnerable to sneak attack. <laughs> Too early? Uh, oh, Teddy. no. Teddy's the only one that lives. Yeah. I thought you died in a plane crash. Teddy? No. no. Son, I believe. It was JFK Jr. Oh, right. Yeah, right, it was right, a right. Son, right. Was it Wasn't the sister who was like lobotomized the one that lived? Yeah, yeah it was. Rosie yeah. or something. Outlived all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that, was, that was like the family shame. Like, they lobotomized their own daughter. Yeah. And she ended up just being crazy. Yeah. Don't you wish you could be lobotomized? Some it sounds so carefree. cool. As about we close that. Nothing thing. says love like an ice pick to the frontal lobe. <laughs> Who needs those lobes? Anyway, uh, <laughs> your characters do see the character. You guys see a. <sighs> you guys, Captain Lemur. Finally, see where the fuck is he? Meanwhile, the charger does not fish. Alright. Huh. Is he, is he over here? Yep, yeah, definitely not. Tony, do you have a different charger? Ah, uh, uh, There actually might be some underneath. Like, people have been borrowing them and leaving fit. them underneath. Look and subscribe to the Google. Wait, hold on. I just unplugged his. Like, Neil, look under where you are. Somebody might have literally got yeah, please don't unplug me. I have no on the juice. Um, I no, uh, one negative. Is, so, yeah. Negative Ooh. Ghost Rider. We're live. Yeah, so that's definitely just like. Oh, yeah, that's totally wrong. Hmm. Oh, well. If it dies, it dies. Yeah, 20% still. It dies, it dies. But I do have other chargers. Like, people, people, be people have literally been borrowing, like, the charger ends and not bringing back the actual rest of the charger. Mm. Like, I have charger ends that are probably hooked in. The end is what we need to swap on this one. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that looks promising. Yeah, something like that. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. something like that. What, what, what? Yes, what, what, what? <laughs> I'm trying to find a fig for that actual, like, the monkey man. I had one. Is it a monkey man or a squirrel man? Squirrel monkey man. Actually, I had a squirrel monkey man, like, fig. 
Zaboom-a-boom. Is that like a name that's printed It's a printed Brothers. It's squirrel monkey. Walking through the woods one day. day. Chris and Pratt saw something strange. Chris and Martin. Martin, sorry. Yeah, because they're the Pratt Brothers. Yeah. There's more than one. This is Pratt Pratt. My brother Pratt Pratt. I can Pratt. find it. Pratt Pratt. I'm just going to use Pratt. this. Uh, Mario Mario. Luigi Mario. The Mario Brothers. Thing. I'm just going to use this thing. What are you doing? Put it in the parts that move under that gold. tree. There are parts that would just sucked. I mean, I'm glad that Fever Dream of a movie exists. What movie? Uh, Super, Super Mario, Mario Brothers. Mm. Underneath that tree over there. This one? Yeah. We're going to watch that. Underneath it? Yeah, ever. It yeah, takes me to say I remember much of that. We put them there. around it? They're getting close. They seem to be hunting. Put the other one on that hill over there. Look at this. I'm hunting. I'm not even looking at it. Where did you go, Where did you go? As you get to this area, you hear tons of screaming and you hear squawking, and it definitely the sounds of notes, so. much larger, it's hungrier busy. animals looking for a much smaller, easier prey. Uh, yes. I've turned on the battle camera now. Uh, if you want, you can grab that large thing and just set it on top to try to get a cold thing. What large thing set it in there? Uh, over there by Trey's right arm, behind his drink. So if Trey turns around and looks at the guy's thing behind his drink, yep, you flip that around, that's a circus. You can put a candle on top. Aha! Uh -huh. Whoa! I know, right? You just blew my fucking mind. <laughs> so, smash You're the one who has a gun. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah just, just like draw that back over here, and you'll probably be able to uh, capture like the whole battlefield. There you go. Add page. There we go. Um, Send ad, there we go. So, uh, your characters uh, come across a scene. I do need initiative. Uh, you see a bunch of griffins looking to eat that little monkey man. You do not see a spider right now. Oh. Why not? Why not? Do our hopped right out. Extra characters go on our initiative? Yes. Yes, yes they do. <clears throat> Oh, I gotta find. I'm gonna start right. Where's my X? We'll make the Griffins go on three different missions to try to break them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I can just swarm one guy in one turn and then I instantly kill him. Appreciated. Not instantly. I mean, they're only griffins. You know, I don't really have a sense of scale in this game. For uh, what is how only... many days since the last uh, session? Uh, it's been one day since that session. So it's just the next day. Oh it's sure, we make some mad sailing day. time. Bigger six in it. Creations, my encounters. Create new. I got a 15. I also got 15. Hang on, I'm catching up on notes and stuff. Uh, as far as. Do you have a rough initiative or anything? He also got a 15. No, I don't think that's a feat in this one. What's your dex? Uh, plus 4. Okay, so you before me. So did you get a 15? You yeah. got a 15? And I got a 15. Oh, nice. I see but I only decks. have a plus one. <clears throat> oh, okay. So you're after me. Yeah. 15, baby. That's where initiative is at. Neo, what did you get? <laughs> Six. God damn it. Smoop! Well, you can switch initiatives if you yes. need me. Yes, I can. Yeah, I forget. <clears throat> Sorry, who's making fun of my slow initiative? Who? Who? Who doubted the <laughs> me that I saw the monkey man? <laughs> Looks like you're down to six. Get fucked. <laughs> We need uh, copy thingies on the thingies. Uh, Color yes. Band, yeah. uh, I'm right. going to do their initiatives right now. Okay, the first one, just grab a band and I'm going to tell you his initiative. Uh, his initiative is going to be a. Give me a second. I need to look at it. He's going to get a 15. Uh, Thank you for that. Dex area of 2. 18. Oh, damn. He's ready. Go ahead and put a band on another one. That one's initiative is going to be an eight. And the last 
one's initiative is going to be a 13. Does the squirrel person have an initiative? Squirrel person? Yes, he does. Okay, if you want to switch, then go ahead. I'll be right back. I'm going to back. Are we coming in from this side, or do you want to set? You, the you're spot? you're exactly wherever you set your characters. Exactly. So that's that's where you guys are starting. So uh, beginning of the initiative: uh, dense jungle, surrounded by thirsty, hungry man-eating griffins, and possibly a non-man-eating squirrel person or man-eating squirrel person. You'll find out. <laughs> Thanks for rescuing me. Who's the top of the initiative? Uh, the green griffin, the one furthest oh. back there. Can you, can you point towards me a little bit? I can't see it at all. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, green griffin. <clears throat> green griffin is going to attempt to search. Trey, would you be adverse to swapping with me? I guess it doesn't matter. That'd be fine. As long as I get, like, Green Griffin uh, does notice the squirrel person. Can I have, where's that? Can you give me one of the laser pointers? I'll point you towards. Uh, he spends his turn investigating, and then he's going to fly over here, and he's going to start squawking and screaming, looking at where the squirrel person is. Uh, that alerts your character to the exact location of where the squirrel person is. Uh, next in the initiative is Johnny. All right, I got my mage armor going here. Uh, I can't see the squirrel person from here, but I can see those two griffins at least. Let's see, let's try to bust out first. Oh, well, there. See at least two griffins, so I'll cast Cause Fear at a second level on both griffins. Okay. And Cause Fear is anything susceptible to fear, so that's a wisdom save. What's the DC on your wisdom save? 16. 16. Uh, I think one of them got it. <coughs> <coughs> you, feel, you feel them both shake it off. Rough, rough. 16 out of 20 on the die. I am not the knight. <laughs> well, then I'll at least move further that way towards where it's supposed to be. The sound of the squawking. That's fine. You have 30 foot movement. 10, 20, 20, about 30. Yeah. Okay. There you go, that's your move action, that's your action. The only thing I left is bonus action, I don't think I have anything to do, so. Yeah. Oh, did you write, roll your potence today? Portents today? Yeah. Oh, I did not, actually. There you go. those. All right, uh, who, uh, you would have a NPC that's going on in your ship. What do you have in him do? That's right. What's uh, that guy, what's that guy doing? What's he up to? Net my portents real quick, like. That's important to remember. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see which party member I'll screw over today. That's right. Witness me! Alright. Let's see. Dodging the Manta needle, so. Like pull or he gets like and push it instead. Mm-hmm. Twist it just a. Choose your partner ability to actively screw over your teammates. Yeah, <laughs> that works. That's perfect. It's it. Oh no, you did it. What? You could. You could. Porton says any roll. Any roll on the board. It is a interesting ability. All right. All right. He's going to uh, move up by me as well and cast a firebolt at that griffin. Firebolt. What level is he? Uh, I think he's still level three. Is he only level three? Okay. First level firebolt. Yes. So it's going to be. Oh, it's all hit plus six, one d ten damage. That's 20. Yeah, I could have used that, but 1d10 times 2. Yeah, 
Dan. <laughs> Two whole damage. It's amazingly, but that that <laughs> thick that has a lot of bolting. It just really just took. It really startles the Griffin. It frightens the Griffin more than my cause fears about it. It's unsettled. It's unsettled. It's like, Bata! It was. It was very attached to its 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 feathers. Do that again. It yeah. caught like the most singularly singular flammable feather and just yeah. incinerated that feather. Put on the board. Two fucking damage on the purple Griffin. <laughs> Witness me. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next initiative is Tom. Tom, what are you doing? Ooh. Okay. Uh, captain. Captain. My captain. Well, let's see. Lagoon is gonna act first. He's gonna move over here, and he's gonna cast Hunter's Mark on this red one, pink one. Okay, well, that's a bonus action, and then he will go ahead and shoot him. He has a plus six to attack, I believe. Pretty much, they're all plus six to attack. Um. Okay, it's a 16 on the purple. die, so 22. 22 will hit. That's one hit against the Griffin. <clears throat> I freaking uh, Hunter's Mark adds retired. an extra D6 to the weapon die. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, there we go. Hunter's Mark. So it is 1D8 plus 4. So D6 and a D8. All right. Woo, he did 12 damage to it. On which one? Uh, red. He shoots an arrow. It slices into his shoulder. It doesn't sh impact, but it does definitely cause some damage. And I am going to four, five, six. Get close enough, and we're gonna poison spray the Griffin. Okay, poison spray. That's a counter fifteen feet, I believe. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, ten I, feet, but yeah. Ten feet. Ten feet is just enough. Uh, I have to make a con save, I believe. Yes. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, okay, roll your, uh, what is it, 2d12 at this 2D12. point? 12 Poison damage? Yes, sir. Okay. You hack a loogie at him. That is four. Gross. Plus six. So ten whole damage. Ten poison damage on red. On red. Okay. All right. Next in initiative is Neil. So I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on myself. Well, I we can raise your AC by two. Concentration. God damn it! Did it twice. Is that how you cast Shield of Faith? God damn it! <laughs> go. God damn his attacks. And then. And activate my my flaming sword. It's a bonus action to activate your flaming sword. Bonus action to shield faith. You could use your action though to activate it if you wanted. Okay. Do you want to do that? Sure. Okay. Use your use your action. You activate uh, your, your your flaming sword. And then Mr. Healer here. Mm hmm. And anyone within 30 feet, he's going to use a siren. Uh, and we're going to do Captain. No, Captain's not in 30 feet. No, okay, he's going to hit me. So on my next attack or saving throw, I'm going to add a d4 and add it to the result. Okay. Well, he's got like... A limited blast is what it is. Mm. He doesn't have an attack. He's got like a... That's guidance, mm. isn't it? Right? Just... Nope. Guidance are just ability checks. Oh. Okay. Uh, I thought the other one is attacks and saving throws. Neat. Bless. That's cool. So, okay. Next in the initiative is red. Yep. Since the other one revealed his position, he's hungry. He sees people behind him. He's frightened. <clears throat> He's going to attempt to dive bomb his meal. Pulling out that map for it. Wait, it's in two on the new car. Which one is it? Red? Red one. Yeah, red. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, that's a hit. 
Uh, it is going to dive bomb. Uh, actually, no. Did I say red? You said uh, red. Yeah, yeah that's the next one, right? Actually, no, initiative. Fuck. Red. Red's actually going to attack your character. Thank Sorry. You. Uh, it's 16 against a AC. sixteen. Ten plus six. Yep. Sorry. Uh, yeah, fuck. He, uh, he makes, uh, two attacks. Sorry. Ow. Let's beak him with his claws. Here's the claws attack. Another 16 on the die. God damn it. Uh, I need one more AC. Just one. Okay. Take eight points of, uh, piercing damage from the beak. Oh. And take, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Ah. Uh, 11 plus 4, 15 from the claws. Ow, ow, ow. god damn it. Hey. Yeah, claws do 2d6. This. So claws are just one attack in this one? Uh, I mean? Yeah, yeah, he has uh, he uh, he has multi-attack. He makes two attacks. He's oh. speaking one of those claws. Okay. Oh, they have advantage on perception checks. Fuck, I didn't realize that. Damn. Goddamn, goddamn griffins. All right, next initiative is it, it comes in, it... It beats you in the closet. It's badly hurt. It's not bloodied quite yet, but you do think that it it it's just fighting uh, because it's afraid. You're the biggest target, and you attacked it last. Okay. Purple Griffin's next. Purple Griffin's next. Which one's Purple Griffin? That is that guy. He is going to. Is he though? He's going to completely not see that one. He is going to turn around though. And, uh, fuck. Five, and ten, what now? fifteen. Oh, yeah, he's going to go for the paladin. Death. He's going to dive bomb the paladin. He's going to swoop by you. He's going to try to make two attacks as he does. First one is a beak. He misses. And he does three damage to his beak as he directly impacts your pauldron. Like the strongest part of your pauldron. In your full plate. Think again. Bang! Put it on the board. Three damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one is purple. You know, which way to go, George? Which way to go? As he's flying away, his back claws make a swing at you, and uh, it is uh, seventeen plus six. Does that hit? Hang on. That is uh, twenty-three. No, it does not. God damn. God damn. What'd you go up to? Twenty-four. Oh, your base AC is 21? 22. Oh, 22, fuck. Yeah, he misses. He misses on his 18 to hit you. Anyway, uh, he, he flies by, and uh, let me get some flying terrain. Yes, he is now above you and to the, to the side. Like this? Yeah. Yeah. He just basically kind of came in, dive bombed, and went out. Okay, next in the initiative is Trey. Trey. You're surrounded by birds. Birds. Actually, they're griffins. Well, actually. And you're running them wrong. Does it look like I could? Good. They're all going to die. They actually now have cone attacks and they can turn you into stone. I'm going to drop to one knee and bring up my repeating rifle. Uh, the, and the plus one repeating rifle. Sight on red. Okay. And bang! Did you, did you hit him? Does 15 hit? 15 hits. There's a second hit. Actually, the third hit. Uh, their armor class is 12. Oh, good. I was worried that they wouldn't hit. Maybe something with a little less kick in it. Uh, that'll be 11 damage. Damn. And that's all on red. Now, the repeating rifle, I can just like that, and it's ready to fire again, right? Yeah. Uh, what's the reload on it? <clears throat> um, it didn't say. Repeating rifle? It just says reload. All of them have a load property. Yeah. I'll say it's the same as a pistol. It's four. Oh, it was a four? Okay. Well, the pistol's four. So that means you can make four shots before you got to reload. <clears throat> so, bam! Four. You shoot him. As you shoot him, uh, you guys don't have full uh, hit points, do you? Did you guys go... Yeah, uh, baseball. You're, you went full? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I was just asking. Do you know if you guys went partial or half? Okay. No, we rested before we came. No, I mean like hit points. Do you guys roll for hit dice or do you guys take partials? Oh, for five, you know, through five, we just had full. It was after that you said you were giving us choices. Oh, yeah, yeah, So yeah, right yeah. now we all just have max. All they have max? Have all right. And I will do that for the bad guys. All right, he is not bloody yet. Next Actually, shot. Bang! Ooh, uh, 19 plus 6 is 22. 20, that's, that's more no, than enough. 23. Right, whatever, doesn't matter. A big number. Higher than 12. Higher, Higher than, than 12. 12. Uh, and again, 11 damage. 11 more damage. Two forty-four. 44, he is bloody now. They have, uh, they have 70 hit points. Down two modern bullets. Okay. Next thing they should do. Well, actually, no. You've got you got you you have options. You haven't used your bonus action or anything. I stand my ground. Okay. He's headed right at us. Next on the initiative <laughs> is. No, we have a shield. Uh, back green. up to green. Back up to green. Uh, yeah, green has a 80-foot <coughs> fly. Uh, he is going to do a dive bomb attack for a grapple. That is his one attack. On who? <laughs> What's up, Chris Paul? <laughs> oh, like, I got oh. it. And then the last one, nope. On the monkey man. Uh, so let me see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Okay. He... Dive bombs, grabs the monkey man in yeah. both of his claws, yeah. and flies all the way to here. Monkey man is not damaged yet, but he is in his claws. Hmm. Okay. Could be a problem. Could be. Do we want to handle that? <clears throat> yes. Johnny. I mean, I see it now. I'm good. That's all I need to do. Let's go. You're not crazy. I've seen the monkey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's screaming, Aku Pagaka! Atu Taku Kuka Papa! So here speaks what squirrel is? slash monkey. We'll leave quicker. Uh, if Corey was here, I'd have him make a check to make sure it doesn't pee off. It's flying on the plane. So this is thing. Somehow it arcs through the air back onto the ship where so the doctor So we're here to save the monkey today. person, right? Yep. Yes. Sweet. So... There's a monkey man with a with a with a, a hobo staff and a backpack they saw along the shore that was being chased by a gigantic spider. As you guys were sailing around the cove, just trying to get an idea of the outside of the island. He didn't want to go to the villagers quite. That's my wife, she was gonna give me coffee like a couple hours ago. I don't think she's gonna. Is she here? Yeah. I keep She's texting her. Dusty. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, all right. <laughs> Anybody watching? <laughs> Nobody. Hey, do you think this will work? <laughs> Excuse me. This one still says the end ventures. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, yeah. why not? No, but it just it didn't take the name. Okay. Anyway. So what are you guys doing? I'm going to uh, set off about 20 feet above the griffin a fireball so it doesn't hit the monkey in its claws. It's going to be tough. I'm going to have you roll a 50-50 if you want to do it. Because it's the same square. Uh, if you hit the guy, I'll forgive you. You're not the one. Smooch is the one who wanted to rescue the monkey man. Yeah, that's why I offer you. I don't care. I just wanted to see him. I'm good to go now. <laughs> I know it's real. <laughs> there was, in fact, a monkey man. Oh, uh, so you're not crazy. Good. Good. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to set off, yeah, fireball, targeting just the griffin and not the squirrel slash monkey man. So, are you saying high or low? It's either 50 and above or 49 and below. High good me. Actually, be 51 and up is good you. It would be high. I'm going to gamble on high good me. Okay. So this is what happens. 
But he means it's high good squirrel man. Roll your roll your damage die. Okay. Well, it's a deck save to hit the fireball hit, so you want me to just roll the damage now? Yeah, yeah. How dexterous is the squirrel hey, 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 hey. grapple <laughs> into the sky? <coughs> the squirrel dodges! Uh, Eight D six. Okay, let's do some math here. Let me look at the uh look at the monster's dead box here. Golem, Awakened Minds, Ancient Squids, something called a Brine Elemental, Cave Lions, Baboons, so, Total fireball damage is 21. 21, you say? Alright. Fire Lizard. In the art section, all right. Ah, Where are these guys. Gosh darn it! Give me a second. I'm trying to. I bet their stats are like in the book. Stay alive. Whatever will occur, I will find you. Oh, hey. Started playing Ghost Freak and Wildlands. It's pretty good. I, I really oh, the griffin and the, the pop right monkey squirrel. Mm -hmm. the, the good up close. Say. Oh, I did. The right I did. You can snipe with them. Really? I can lie. I, I've only been played for like maybe He's trying to see if he survives. And uh, I've got a fortune that says he probably made a dex save. Were you using Borton on that? Uh, okay. 14 yeah, plus whatever it is dex is. To, find things. Uh, to beat 16. Because he's like a SA 80, a large magazine. Give me a second here. I'm still looking at the. It's a nice steady rifle. It's really sad. Suppressor on it. It's really sad. It's so frustrating. I don't know why. There is. It's really satisfying. There's a sniper rifle. Mm -hmm. You can one shot it. Okay. Is it like a 50 cal? Uh, it's a really big one. Yeah. It's gotta be 50 cal. You can one shot it. Okay. Like like I'm one also the 104 too. Boom. Or the supply trucks that you can hijack. Fana shoot at the engine. Fana. Well, what the fuck's the stats of a Fana still on. market? For with a with a with a with a with a with a. Market. With a yeah. Yeah. Halfling sized creatures. That's awesome. Oops. Strike Silent! H. Phanaton. There they are. Fuck. He's the Your mom. Phanaton. 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 Yeah. Phanaton. Yeah. Uh, all right. A AC of 12. Oh, okay. He has that many hit points. How much damage are you doing? Uh, if he makes the next save, that'll be uh, 10 from the fireball. Barely alive. Ow. Yes, yes, he is alive because he made his deck say, and it was only dead there. Who the monkey person? Yes, yes. yes. The griffin. He screams. <laughs> but the griffin takes everything. Okay, so griffin takes twenty-one. Again. So green takes twenty-one. Green takes twenty-one, and summarily drops our friend. Oh, nope. I hope not. Nope, still holds on. Uh, Tom. Oh, actually, no. You have a bonus action move. Did you want to do anything there? Well, if he doesn't drop uh, the suit, he gon' be. I got a disarming shot. You do have, you do have your other shoot. guy with you as well. I do, yeah. <laughs> Wait till he comes around. around. Uh, yeah, the only okay. bonus action I got is Dragon's Breath. You can bring him back. In this fuck. case. Yeah, and that'd be a concentration spell. You've already cast a spell this turn. I will move ah, towards the green one. This thing <laughs> sucks. Why does it keep me falling out? Trying to track him. Okay. And what about your guy that you brought with you? As for Midland Grimbrus. Grimbrus. He, let's see, rather than risk hurting the Thanaton more so, uh, yes, he's going to do uh, 
I can't do fire breath because it's only a 50 foot cone. So I'll do another fire bolt on purple. All right. His 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 throat wells up, kind of like a frog, like doing about to do a rivet, but it glows, and all of a sudden, boom, and boom a fire blast shoots out of his mouth. He barked on the enemy. That doesn't hit. Doesn't hit a 12? Nope. No. Boo. Oh, less than a six. six. Yeah, still doesn't hit. Ooh. All right. It, it goes wide. It goes wide. Not a one? No, it's not a one. Thank okay, God. okay. <laughs> it goes wide. Explodes. Next on the initiative is... Tom. Tom. What are you doing? Okay, um... I don't have a good way to stop that one. So I'm going to finish the one in front of me here. Oh, uh, well, at least I'm going to participate. And so is he actually close enough here that I can reach him with my sword at this point? Yeah. He yeah okay. He's within range. Well, we are going to go ahead and just beat him down with my sword. Uh, we are going to cast a hex on there first. You already had a hex on him. No, I did. Oh, you didn't? You get Hunter's Mark. Oh, I thought you cast Hunks. Yeah, no, so I didn't give him hex You use your bonus time. action, uh, you yep. use one of your things, and you cast hex. Yeah. Bonus well, action. Pop. There. I'm not supposed to have a pop, but I need something to drink. Do you need more liquor? There's that big thing of tea back there. Oh, yeah, but that's been sitting there for a while. Uh, there's one of wine. Actually, is there a Gatorade back there? I'm gonna open up the fridge, see if there's a Gatorade. Please. And you're going to swing? Snickety snack. Yeah, I'm going to swing twice. That's a 13, and that is a 17 on the die. All right. I'll take a sun drop. So both hit. Which then is going to make it. All right. Four. Eight. Eight. Eleven plus five is sixteen on the first hit. Okay. And that's on red. Is that, does that kill it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's no. Not that's quite. sixty. All right. So then the second hit. Then. Oh, you do ten. Three. So six. Yes, we do ten damage. He's dead. So we you strike it from the sky. Strike it down. off a wing. Yeah, chopped off a wing, it falls dead. Anybody want some chicken wines? Then Lagoon the real big. is going to turn around and move that hunter's mark off to green. That's his bonus action. And yeah. he's going to take a shot at that guy. Poor bastard, he's going to get fucked. <laughs> I'm not talking about... Uh, 16 to hit. So he will 16 hit. 16 to hit. And we will roll the damage dice. And he got, wow, he got 12 damage. Dang, on green? Yep. Nice. Yeah, seven and five. You almost maxed that out. <coughs> oh, plus four, actually, huh? So, yeah, plus four from whatever I told you there. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are dealing out some damage. You almost maxed. And, yeah, that's it for my guys. Okay. Next up is Neil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I am going to champion challenge green. Champion oh. challenge green. What is the wording that it says on champion challenge? As a bonus action, each creature of your choice within 30 feet must make a whiz saving throw DC 15, or it can't willingly move more than 30 feet away from you. <laughs> oh, that's this creature too, so that's fucking anything. Okay. What's a wisdom save on that? 15. Ooh, nice. Do it, man. What do you say to issue to challenge? This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? What do you do? You don't. Not so fast. <laughs> <laughs> you big chicken. That was uh, lame. Yeah, yeah, you don't even yell. Just like that under your breath. So what, you think I'm hip? <laughs> God damn it. That's a nine, actually. My last port. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he fails on a nine, then. Yep. Okay. Damn it. You're not going anywhere. All right. That's beautiful. That's a nine. I'm still going to shoot him. <laughs> Next, uh, uh, Neil, you champion challenge him. He cannot go further than 30 feet away from you. Okay. Uh, does he, does so end if he takes damage or does that action. continue? As a bonus action, each creature of your choice within 30 feet must make a wind saving throw or it can't win the move from 30 feet away from you. Period. Yeah, for yeah. Did you hit Damn, purple good. with that that's also? Good. Sure. <laughs> Why the hell Why not? not? Nine on the die. Nope. Also can't move more than 30 feet. That could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. <laughs> you want to fight one griffin or two griffin? <laughs> so is it just like they hit a wall? 
They just they yeah, can't. They strong just, compulsion in their heart. It's like it's like it's like it's like yeah. It's like they they, they hit that point. They're just say like go they away, just. But I gotta kill him. Yes, yeah, like turn around. It's like that girl with tattoos in the bar. It's like you're about to go, and then you're like, uh, no. You turn around, and then you make a mistake. <laughs> Speak from personal experience. I guess, know. yeah. Yeah. I learned a little bit about yeah. Tony there, just that. Yeah. Tattoos yeah. all over her face. Yeah. yeah. Today on D D group therapy, we're exploring <laughs> Tony's inner psyche. Never date a stripper. Never date a stripper. All right. Did you date a stripper? So I've got an attack action. I made a lot of mistakes in my life. Yes. Can I Was I have to confess that? anything on camera? Uh, yes. Actually, you can hold an action. I'm gonna hold that no until one is. of these two comes within range yep. on camera. <laughs> And so are we. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, next on in the initiative Red is is dead. Did you bring anybody with you? Oh yeah, the dog. Oh yeah, yeah. Heal the monkey man. Um, he can't. He can't. Yeah, he can. Yeah, I thought he. Yeah. Any ally with the healer can see within thirty feet regains one d eight plus. Why does it say seven and then one d eight plus three? So you can take the average. The average. Roll. You can take the average or you can roll. Fuck it, roll. Roll the one. Eight hit points but to the monkey man. Eight hit points to the monkey man. <clears throat> you don't need it. <laughs> that fucker's almost fully healed. He's about to drop. <laughs> that's, that's about a... <laughs> about a between, between a one and a twelve, he was at a two. Now he's back at ten. Purple. Purple's a troublemaker. Yeah. So okay. Right. Next to the initiative. It's, it's purple. purple. I'm blue, I'm Carl green, Banger, all he did was like smash his beak against your pocket. <sighs> he seems like a so Who would he attack? Rascal. Who would purple attack? Let me see. Your mom. Good chance it's you, so you're 1 through 15. Anybody else above 15? Okay. Take a. Purple is going to dive bomb on you. He's going to move it within your attack range. You will get your attack. Okay. Don't forget, you do have a d4 yep. for your Ooh, previous blast. Is that to come- hit or is that damage? Uh, to hit. Okay. Like Saves a hit. Uh, whatever comes saves. first. Uh, he's going to dive bomb, hit you, and he's going to fly back to where he is. Okay. So. Uh, like, whatever, <laughs> okay, you crit. I don't know, do you want to smite him? It's your call. You know, I might as well. You can just murder him. What level smite? Well, let's find out here. Just a, just feathers. Yeah. <laughs> where the griffins go? Uh, first like, level will give you 2d8. Second level spell will give you 3 Pigeon a baseball. And hitting the fucking <laughs> seagull. A pigeon. A pigeon, a pigeon yeah. Annihilates it. <laughs> See, he's got a flaming sword, so I'm picturing he's just going to, like, you know, slash you, and there'll be just roast chicken on the ground. Yeah. Kind of like Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that video game? Uh, Legends. Food is good. It was on N64. Um, are you talking about Gauntlet? Yeah, Gauntlet Legends, yeah. Oh my god, Gauntlet Legends. That is a fucking classic, right? So yeah, oh, second yeah. level smite. The wizard second level smite. Destroyed. So, so you're going to roll 3d8. 3d8 plus the Food d8 for your long sword. 4d8. Plus 2d6. So you're going to roll 1, 2, 3, 4d, 4d8, and 2d6. Multiply it by 2. Yep. Uh, I'll just get a calculator. Yeah. Unless you got one. Yeah. You can do it. I don't care. Does your dice have like auto load the I give the totals? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can just yeah. Forty eight plus two D six, right? Forty eight plus two D six. Plus three. Yeah. So that's thirty three times two. Sixty six Plus 71. Three. You smote it. You killed the goddamn purple. Boy. Fucking you one shot. shot of this one. How, how does this look? How do you just murder this thing as it flies? It comes furiously flying down. Yeah. You really turn my ready back to it. And wham! Swing for the fence. Swing for the fence. You don't even point Ooh. it out? It, it's a game where you're just holding your charge attack essentially the whole time. Just yeah. Oh, so you hit the cloud. As you swing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want you to. I want you to. As you swing. You swing so hard, your your, 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 your helmet kind of turns with it. And you're just swinging for the fences. You're just hoping to make contact with it. You see its body as it starts to come closer towards you. And you don't see it, but you feel it hit flesh. And then you feel it keep going and going and going. And then you feel the, re- you feel the resistance stop. 
You hear a crash in front of you, and then you hear a crash behind you to the right. You look over to your right. You see the flaming. You see that the decapitated head of the griffin, the bird-like head, the eagle head, decapitated and burning. To your (laughs) to your right, you literally see just a a a lump of a body. It 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 crashed into the ground and it broke its bones. Okay. I did that. There you go. Right. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> now, the monkey I swore man. there was another griffin around here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he died for... No, no never mind. He just committed yeah, This is the first time I've been a paladin since I was like 16. Yo, Smite is dope as fuck. I'm getting that. On a crit. on a crit. It's pretty... It's like basically only worth saving for a crit. You get like a 5% chance to end to something. Oh, Ooh. yeah. But it pays the fuck off because it's just like, and you're dead, or mostly dead. <sighs> this griffin, is it going to figure it out? It does figure it out. It figures out it can't leave. As it figures out it can't leave, it turns around and feels fire. 1 through 18, it attacks Neil. Anything else that attacks you guys? Well, actually, no. I look one at through, it and I point. <laughs> one through ten. One, point it one in, through point fifteen. At the other <laughs> one through fifteen. It attacks Neil. If it's um, above fifteen, coming for you. It attacks the thing in its claws. Oh it's hungry. no! Okay. Oh dear. Trey, take a shot at it. Oh, I am gonna. It's attacking the monkey squirrel oh, thing. Is he attacking? Oh wait, 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 wait! He, he doesn't get to go yet. No, Trey goes first. Trey gets to go. Oh yeah, Yoga! I did it again. Do a <laughs> Disarm him. We just got in time to demonetize. Yeah. Um, so I am going to spend a grit point for a disarming shot. When you make a firearm attack against a creature, you can expend one grit point to attempt to shoot an object from their hands. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. On a so, hit. The creature you... suffers normal damage and must succeed on a straight saving throw. It'll work. It'll work. Or drop one held <laughs> object. So, I'm going to do that. How high up is the griffin? Uh, Within 30 feet. feet. It won't be that Five, far of a drop. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It'll so be the all right. Got... How many hit points? It'll be all right. About Maybe 20, it's a monk with slow clock. Not quite 20. Oh, oh, I hit. Did... He uh, said he was like a squirrel. Is he a gliding squirrel by chance? So Fine squirrel. squirrel. Is there a chance that anyone can catch him? I'm kind of close. I could make it. If I had a hero point, I would burn it. Okay. So, Squishy Wizard can make a dive to try to catch it. Anyway, uh, what do you got? So I hit him. You hit him. So I have to make a what? A strength, strength saving throw. throw. Strength saving throw. And I believe. DC is eight plus proficiency plus dex. Okay. I I roll I rolled with disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. What is the total I need? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. That's it. I got a shit dex. I wonder if I'm in that shit. Ooh. Which way? To... You're also a fighter. You get tons of feet, so it'd be easier for you to up that. Which I will do. Give me a second. I gotta look for. I gotta go to the peas. Maybe see what you can Also, I just ordered uh, Rutherford's mini. Oh, nice. Let's oh. hope he doesn't die. <laughs> uh, Rutherford, would you scat out the cave? Indubitably, <laughs> my good. Ah! Oh, Wait, Rutherford, wear this red shirt. It really brings out the How color. How did you know crimson was my color, sir? Well, you know, your crimson on the inside, we figured it was going to come out sooner or later. Yes. Oh. Nice. Let me look back at that art. Holy fuck. They are flying squirrels. Yeah! Yes! Yes! <laughs> they have a fly of 30. Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> As he releases him, all of a sudden, you didn't see these before, wing flaps open, and he begins to flap his wings as he does, he begins to fly away. Uh, can you please move him 30? Quick. Challenge him. So, so he failed the drop <laughs> shot? Yeah, he failed the still... drop shot. Ah, nice. He still takes damage, though, of all... 
That'll be five damage. That'll be five damage. We shot him right through the hand. That's oh, okay. That tendon. That's I got good. one last shot left, didn't he? Come on, baby. And I miss. Oh, it was your second shot? Yeah. Mm, that's fine. You got an action search. You want to use that? All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I've, I've done what I needed to do, which is save the flying squirrel. <laughs> okay. Now it's Green's turn. Hey, Rocky, why don't you pull a rabbit out of my head? Green's turn. Uh, green. So I'm going to roll again. 1 through 15, he attacks Neil. Mm-hmm. Above 15, he does something else. Still pointing at him. Roll the 7. Okay. You uh, motherfucker. Go ahead and, uh, he's going to swoop at you. He's going to do the same one. Uh, take his base and move it around to the other side. By where uh, Rutherford is. No, oh, other side of Rutherford. Close to the trees. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, he's basically going to do a dive bomb attack at Neil, uh, Beak, and Claw. Here's the Beak. That's a miss. Claw. Neil, those are 18s. Okay. So he makes his two attacks. Uh, clang, clang. And they just, it just, you have your shield out. And literally, Bang. you see him coming up, and you're just like, okay, you just hold your shield in the easy cover position. He can't get past it. Um, yeah, and uh, he flies over there. Next in the initiative is Johnny. Yes. Johnny two by four. <clears throat> Turn myself around there. Every now and then I get Turn around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 42. So. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna use my wand of magic missiles to cast a level 6 magic missile at the griffin. Oh, you're pretty much unleashing all of them except for one at this point, right? Yep. Okay, that is a level 6, so that's uh, Anime missiles. 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight D eight. Holy eight. shit! Eight? You mean six? Four. No, no, no. Because it's or... if you, it's a sixth level magic missile, that's three for the first level. Then second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level, sixth level. That's eight D eight plus eight. Oh, the D eight. It's the D fours. Oh, sorry, D D fours. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I'm saying D fours. Right, like D D fours. D fours, or else magic missile will be Auto the worst and stupid damage. The it's most like insane okay. spell ever. So. Fucking bazooka. <laughs> Boo. Maybe 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 a big bad guy's magic <laughs> missile, but no. Eight D four plus six. Eight D four plus uh, six. Yes. Okay. No, it's one for every magic missile, so it's plus eight. Plus eight. Plus eight. Oh. Okay. That's fun. That good. Has has the potential <clears throat> to kill him. Uh, nine plus eight, twenty-six total. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Uh, and did you add the eight from uh, the eight magic missiles? I did. Yeah, not quite. So enough. close. So close. He is <coughs> that fucking that poor <laughs> fucking thing. He has been stabbed. He's been shot, and now he just pretty much got machine gunned. Because literally, what? Dalek pretty much just, you put your hand out there, and so... He just called you Dalek. He did. Exterminate! Exterminate! That's right, Dalek. All right. <laughs> okay, fuck. All right. Captain, would you like to do the honors? Um... No, no, that's beneath me. Lagoon will finish him off. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, twenty-two. He has. He kills it. I assume he can do two damage. <laughs> I can assume with two damage. dice, rolling two dice, <laughs> and his basic modifier. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got ne- negative one. <laughs> huh? Weird. You're gained. You heal him. Yeah, that's funny. I only have a two strength, and I'm wielding a dagger. I do. Negative one damage. <laughs> I heal everyone I stab. The best very meta. Low strength. It's this dagger of healing. Dagger of healing. I think about oh right. That, that would be a bad spell. You stab them. They take the dagger damage, but then you roll the healing dice. <laughs> 
1d4 damage. 2d8. He died. I crit him. Oh. Hey. Uh, now, Squirrel Man, he's flying away from us. Uh, uh, he is panicked, unless somebody wants to try to calm him down. I want to try to get close enough to cast Suggestion on him. Leave suggest uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. The giant snake man approaches all the small. I will give all squirrel. of you a chance to <coughs> try to stop him, or before he he declares fair. Squeak, escape. squeaker, squeak, well, squeak it. Convince him to come. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, let's see. And what language do you say it in? Oh, that's a tricky question. Uh, what language are we gonna use here? Uh, what if I try my own language, Corsfarian? Because we're sort of around snake people, and they're around. Maybe he knows some of their language. Tell him to come back. We mean him no harm. And the least he could do is say I thank you for the assistance. <laughs> so a snake is telling essentially a rodent. Yeah. Come here. With a magical suggestion. Don't yeah, it's great. Right, it's a whiz save of 60. I'm not hungry. It's fine. Trust in me. Trust in me. Okay. Uh, would you say which which, which language? Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. <coughs> Yanti activity here, this that kind of stuff, maybe, huh? No. Damn. Sorry, he, he doesn't know what word you're saying. I figured. He casts the spell. You feel that it could have like it, it grabs his mind. He looks towards you. You say something. And he's like, make a heart. Like, he's like <laughs> <laughs> And then he's, he's like he gets it, it looks like he might start trying to run off. Next Squeak, squeaker squeak squeakity. So uh, in the initiative next would be Neil. Oh, okay, Neil. not my turn. Um, what do you do? Oh. oh, who has his stuff, his staff, his pouch? Who grabbed it? You got it. I got yeah, it. You have it. For oh, okay. Intents and purposes. Oh, you're the last one to identify. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that. I guess that was something you can try to you communicate with him if you want. Or does it matter what order um, So, I lower my weapons, and I gesture for him to come over. Okay. Uh, Roll me a roll. persuasion with disadvantage. You're supposed to brandish his weapons, your weapons. It shows that you mean them no harm. It persuasion? Is. Persuasion. Okay. That's not a good sound to hear. <laughs> <laughs> with disadvantage, right? Yes, with disadvantage. 26. Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. I rolled two 19s. God damn. <laughs> and why did you even ask? <laughs> <laughs> to find out how clear it was. <laughs> it's only because he doesn't speak your language. Uh, he, he looks at you. You put down your weapon. You extinguish your flaming sword. Mm -hmm. You put down your weapon. And you kind of say... He's like, barka, barka. And he starts to waddle towards you. Do any of those languages, anything he's saying. Actually, because you have linguist, you can make an attempt. Okay. Uh, roll me a, uh, I believe it is a I can't intelligence help saving throw. <laughs> roll me an intelligence check. Right. You do get uh, a plus four to it because you have linguist. Okay. Six. Six. You're not sure what he's saying. <clears throat> you don't think it's hostile. I speak a shit ton of languages. Um, you do. You do. You do. Uh, he does not. He's not speaking one you ever heard of. Okay. It seems to be a custom <clears throat> language. But you may be able to learn it. You may be able to talk to him. So, so I later. sit down. Yeah. Put my shield down. Mm -hmm. Swords on the ground. Okay. Put my hands on my knees. I just look at it. Oops, okay. He just, he looks over you and he's like, 
Me another check. So, were you wanting to keep this squirrel man as a pet? We can use a mascot for the ship. Idly reloading my rifle, like, did y'all get any of that? <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. You're pretty <clears throat> sure he was saying that he was heading towards somewhere. That he was being chased. That he heard the griffins. He hid, and then the griffins found him. There was like pantomiming. Mm-hmm. That's very much like uh, uh, what's it? Dances with Wolves when he's trying to like describe buffalo. <laughs> it's exactly like Dances Like Wolves now. Maybe even the little buffalo like. No, not buffalo. the Dances with like Wolves. What's the uh, the big blue alien movie? Avatar. Yes. Avatar. Which Making dances with wolves uh, in space. It literally is dances with wolves in space. Yes, like there is no difference. Correct, basically. Yeah. <sighs> we dance with wolves at half of the block. You just wish you had some unobtainium. I know, right? <laughs> but I need some phlebotanum to get to the unobtainium. Phlebotanum. <laughs> yeah, it makes the plot flow. Oh. Anyway. So I look at him. So he, he appears to be cordial <coughs> to you. Uh, obviously, his language, you're like picking up pieces of it, but it's going to take you some time to learn it. But, uh, Edwin. 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 Edwin? Edwin. He reaches into his pocket and gives you something. Okay. It's a small piece of happy and fruit. Fucking smash I lean in, I lean in and I'm like, you better eat it, or he gonna get upset. Edwin. Edwin. And you start biting into it. It's not bad. It's juicy. Maybe a day old. Yeah. Not dirty or anything. He had in like a little piece of cloth. <laughs> so then, you notice he has a piece of cloth. Uh, the piece of cloth it seems to be the remnants of an old flag. Do I recognize the country? But recognize the flag. Do you have knowledge? Do you have history? I surely do. You actually get a check. Woo! I have some history too. Can I? He's, 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 he's the one that saw it. Okay. 23. Fuck you. Are you barred over there? <laughs> every ounce of his fiber. No, I, I have it. Uh, it's one of my proficiencies. Uh, plus four in the world, but 19. He really wants this monkey to just jump <clears throat> in your face and start biting and clawing at you. You know, it's funny. We, it's a squirrel person. Thank you. It's more like a raccoon <laughs> we mixed had, with uh, a flying monkey. Sugar gliders we were taking care people. of once for the shelter. Actually, yeah, it's like huge sugar gliders. And that makes sense. Rebecca right. was feeding them, and they were coming to the, the door of the cage, and they were eating. And one of them decided to jump out onto her face. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> she flipped the fuck out. Did that like screw up everything? Mm-hmm. I mean, did all the other sugar gliders go. Well, the sugar gliders are horrible animals. Is that they, they they are smelly? Uh, they will pee literally anywhere. They're nocturnal, and when they get angered, they sound like uh, cicadas in the trees now. Oh. Fun. No, they're awful. They, mm. They're a horrible smell. <laughs> they're awful. Like worse than rats and ferrets? Oh, mm. much worse. Mm. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. You toss that in there. They're cute, no. but, uh, but you don't get to see them because they're nocturnal. Yes. And we had one that was pregnant and we think it ate its baby. Ew. As you do. You spent nine months making that snack? You know you've got to say You're supposed to eat the placenta, not the. Uh, never mind. You can't well, tell one begins more, and the other ends. Still more this is the remnants. It, it was only like a piece. Mm-hmm. 
of a flag. Okay. But it was like the heart of it, the most colorful part. Okay. And you do recognize, you do right. see the word pale across this, uh, pale. this piece of the flag. Yeah, it says pale. And it has like what appears to be a, a woman. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, as you unroll it, it's actually much larger. Right? It looks like a small piece, but then you keep unrolling it, and it ends up being like a sizable chunk. Like, the, he was make, probably making this thing like a blanket mm -hmm. sometimes for his two-foot-tall body. Um, this is remnants of the flag of the Pale Countess. This, the Pale Countess was known, uh, was a majocracy ship, a flying ship that was lost many years ago as it was traveling over the ocean. <clears throat> flying ships of the Majocracy are rare. No one outside of the Majocracy has a flying ship. And it just was lost. And there's a huge bounty out for it because the Majocracy keeps its flying technology very secret. And if anyone is able to recover the Majocracy ship, there is a king's ransom. Is it a good king or like a shitty king? Uh, they're both <laughs> worth about the same monetarily. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe not the best king, but you're guessing... One with more execution. <laughs> you're, you're guessing that uh, uh, the returned remnants of a majocracy ship would probably render you somewhere in the neighborhood of about 3,500 uh, copper. Sorry, thirty-five thousand. Okay, there we go. I'm like, damn, okay. we're going out for ten thousand <clears throat> copper currently. Boy, <laughs> dude, this is a poor ass king. It's like the king of the bowling lane. It's not an actual king. <laughs> uh, thirty-five thousand copper. If king it was a if it was a whole yeah. active ship, you're guessing it would be somewhere between seventy thousand to eighty thousand copper. Nice. What so, if we found it, rebuilt it, and sailed it back? Well, I did say 80,000 copper. Now, are they like the, um, the lizard people where they'll hunt you down if you own their ship? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, only the military has them. And if anyone else has a ship that flies, they destroy it regardless. And then they scorch earth, the technology. They really don't want people, to, anyone else, to have flying ships. And they make treaties with other countries to promise not to try. Interesting. Like all the other countries? All the other ones I can make treaties with. <coughs> Who can't they make treaties with? Oh, there's a few. Fucking squirrel people. There you go. Thayans, probably. Uh, I'm willing to bet other countries, though. That country they're at war with currently um, that'd be Thay. would pay more to have this technology. That's what I'm thinking. Now, that would probably make us on their shit list. Oh, indubitably. But... Who wants to go to a place real vivacious? No fans. I will choose to, thank you. Well, we choose to go to the non fans Not because it is easy, but because it is hard. It's, it's not so you're, you're looking at his blanket, he's like... <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but so I start to paint a mine. Oh. Our boat. How about now? Oh. And we oh. got in a smaller boat and rowed ashore and followed the tracks and blood. heard the scream and no. came running. No joke. And Maybe turn the strip the off and on again. I have to do that sometimes on the side. Roll me a persuasion check. Yeah, is there a persuasion check? Oh. Well, I'm not charging either. Okay. It's only a 24. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, no, he uh, he he looks and he's like, oh, charge you. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Is it Batman? Batman? Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. I don't know. It's making like waves. I think oh, boat. Walk up, walk up. Walk up, walk up. Yeah. Okay. Well, Doc, you, is your tablet charging? Well, Doc? Mine? Yeah, is it charging? Yes. Hmm. That's weird, man. He, start, he starts making a, 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 a hither me motion. He's like, oh, oh Doc. Okay. He wants us to follow. He wants us to follow. Thank you for saying Shoes. that. Shoes. 
I cast Comprehend Languages so I don't <coughs> understand what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> like, now that we've been just Wait, doing what? This, <laughs> <laughs> has this been your turn this whole time? I haven't had a chance to do anything. That's hilarious. Like, you've literally spent, like, the, actually, it's nighttime. Like, he, he starts singing, and he just sits down. He's like, oh, wait, it's dark. Because it was about six by the time this happened. So, about two hours of discussion has happened. It's about eight o'clock. It's starting to get dark. So, you guys are probably going to make camp. Sure. As you're making camp, like, he's like, you, you guys are, like, back and forth. You're having this really intense pantomiming. Like, you've got, like, you've got, like, drawing pictures. You got you, you you like grab other people's like disguise kits like you, you you know you grab like little like you try to make sticks and like make like a little boat you know, you really get in this dialogue going back and forth you're making like heavy notes you have Trey's character like writing things down you know when you like <laughs> decipher words trying to like get this language and then you, all of a sudden you're like <coughs> so you start speaking you your words sound normal to everyone else only you can understand him. He can't understand you, though. That's tongues. Tongues yeah. to talk back. If you need assistance understanding our new friend here, I can comprehend languages. Oh, I thought you said you already cut from Casper. What the yeah. shit? <laughs> you didn't ask beforehand, and, and I just cast it. All the papers that I have, and <laughs> get up and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> he throws them in the air and just starts walking away. Collect them before they go in the fire. I need a dexterity save. God damn it. <laughs> damn it, no. Six. <laughs> I cast Frostbite on the fire, put it out so it doesn't burn. And and it's one it's of dark them, as shit out. As one of them catches on fire, you cast Frostbite on the fire. The fire goes out. It is dark as sin. Who has, who has dark vision? I, I do. Not I. <laughs> nope. So it is now dark. As you reach for a piece of, uh, piece of paper, as you see it start to hit the fire, the, all the light goes out. I need you to make another dexterity save. And this is what I've chosen to make my name with. This crew of miscreants. Yep. 20. 20. You stop yourself before you trip over the into the fire. Okay. It is dark. And you're in deep forestation, so it is it is it is like night. Like like it is mm. black. You can't see in front of your face because there's <sighs> there's tree cover. Dense dense jungle. Mm -hmm. So um you, you were able to turn it off. His yes. character stops and he knows his character's like, Again, what the shit? I clear off any papers off the fire and use a firebolt to relight the embers. Alright, uh, make me an arcana check. I'm over in the distance, just like... <laughs> yeah, like you were like walking away to go take a piss and all of a sudden... All, 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 no, all was, like disappeared. He was doing all the business. Like, Fuck! So he yeah. like drops trowel right there. God damn it. 17. For Arcana. 17 for Arcana. You're able to successfully light it up. As your character's taking a piss, you notice you've turned around in the wrong direction. You're pissing towards the camp. <laughs> and it turned back around towards the oh, forest. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, what I, think you and I, hand, I take the pouch, a walking stick, and hand it towards our monkey friend for him to take. Oh, good. I was waiting for you to give me that back. There we go. Ah. Oh, that's pretty. There we go. Okay. Which one of you people can give me bacon? <laughs> I am hungry. Please feed me. I fed the metal man. Now you give me food. <laughs> food good. Is this what he's been standing <laughs> for two hours trying to do? You're laying Get us to fucking feed him. My blood sugar is running low. I need to eat. So I am out. diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> the God. medicine man says I have to eat or Every we go into shock. <laughs> <laughs> at this point it seems a little condescending like okay. it's cute when you look at him and you hear it yeah. but now you're like oh he's being a condescending dick alright uh, our friend is hungry if we can spare some rations for him he was giving out fruit. He'll be fine. Does anyone have create food and water? 
Nah, I mean, not a high level. There's a monkey nearby we could use for food if needed. Captain, please. <laughs> After all the trouble we went through, let us not simply dispose of our new I friends. I share rations with him. Uh, share rations? Yep. Yeah. yeah, okay, he'll gladly eat rations. He scooches right up on you, sits underneath, like, oh, yeah, all right, for a metal man, he's kind of warm. Okay, good. For a metal man, he's kind of warm. <laughs> all right. Well, they look big. They look strong. I wonder if they can kill the spiders. You are very big. Big money we give you. Much treasure. Much treasure. He's offering... He reaches into a, a pouch and he's, he's pulling out like some of your money. Uh, do you stop him? So your money? Where do you get your money from? He's, yeah. sitting, he's sitting on your lap. Oh. Yeah, this dude yeah. just... Oh, and let it go. You let it go? Yeah. Okay. You, you can stop him. Like he's, he's literally like obviously reaching for your pouch. Uh, he's not... Stop. Smack his hand. <laughs> ah! He, he, he's, he's trying to communicate. He's offering money if we help him... Kill the giant spice. I'm not, I'm not sure they know what money is. <clears throat> Got a uh, water skin full of rum. <laughs> I'll offer it to him. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 good. Oh, rum. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. That's weak. <laughs> he's very <laughs> nice he's by the vintage. He, uh. he, he picks it up. He's like, he, but he picks it up in this way. So, I think he likes your room. He likes the room, right? <laughs> keep trying Indeed, to he's done. Like oh, yeah. You can't, you can't yeah. Keep I'm trying. Right. Okay. Keep trying. Uh, you, you have an accelerated learning curve. Okay. Uh, you're going to learn much quicker than other people on this one. Okay. Can I assist at all since I can understand what the monkey's saying? Actually, since you can assist and say the words that he's saying, the words start to make sense. Ah. You start seeing more patterns. That <clears throat> can I start trying to talk back? Yes, yes, you can. You can try, but you'll insult his mother. <laughs> so, your characters, what do you want to ask him? Where did you find this flag? Where is the pride parade? Drop, drop the L. You're close to what I thought. Tony has to look at Still getting no problem. What the hell? Uh, no, you broke it. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was working this time. Uh, here we go. There we go. There we go. Is it Aaron? Yeah, you flipped now. it to the off position. I reckon it'll go. I said you flipped it to the off position. Oh, did I? Okay. This night's just been a comedy of errors. That sounds about right. Aaron <laughs> Obelos. Errors? I don't know. Did you see us destroy those griffins? Do you see Mr. Smoot smite a griffin? Yes. All to save a tiny flying squirrel person. Give me a second. Who are only just now finally understanding what the fuck he's saying. I love that idea. You just watched him understand. Try for like, I'm tired of this. I was just letting him have his turn. He just kept going and going and going. <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but I, I can, can actually just cast the spell. I can speed game. this up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want. If you don't, yeah. I'll be it for me to tell fun. you how to it's do just, that. Yeah. I don't want to ruin your learning experience here, but... But. Ten. But I want to ruin your learning experience. My daddy used to say, bad to learn on your own, then have somebody help me. Oh, where did I find that? Well, teach a man to fish. We've taken at least a short day. rest so far, right? Yes, you're taking something short attacks rest. us during the night. So you've, you've taken a short rest. Uh, so he'll say, Oh, that? I found that in the hills. Well, actually, shit. He, no, he looks at your character. Where find that? Hills. Near village. Tata. Tata. Hills. Near village. Take us to you. Take us to village. <clears throat> Please? Mm, that 
big. We could do it. They're dangerous. I wonder if they'll eat them. Uh, he is going to try to do a sense motive versus your character. <clears throat> What would he read off you? I'm really interested in where he got the flag. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't Not think malice. he's just a stupid monkey. Mm-hmm. You don't think that? No. Wow. I'm generally interested in what he has to offer. Okay. What does he gleam off the rest I of I thought it looked like a squirrel. Contempt? Contempt. <laughs> like, fuck this monkey. <laughs> Vague amusement at best, but okay. mostly contempt. It's what about you? Uh, <clears throat> was trying to help understand and facilitate communication. Interested in learning more about it. Was island. Trey, what about you? He had to pee. I already did that. <laughs> He's still peeing. <laughs> Two hours of pee. <laughs> He's a European. <laughs> um, His whole body is pee. Based on what he has told me, he takes that my rum's pretty good vintage. It's like, well, this is, is from Virilia. And I feel a little flattered. Mm. So, <laughs> like, grateful, maybe? Yeah, you, you're, you're happy. You're, you're across from it. You're happy. Like, Thanks, little okay. buddy. I like this little squirrel guy. <laughs> he'll, he'll break off a piece of the food you gave him. He'll hand it back to you. He says, I will take you... My village. How do I say that? Pakotokata? Tuk 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 And I understood that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, not the tuk 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 thing. I don't think he was actually saying anything. It seemed like more like he was just saying he was mimicking moving. <laughs> Again, you're basically sitting there trying to understand onomatopoeia. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> I can tell he's basically being like, "You with me go walk far back here, home." <laughs> you go uh, home, yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you're you guys are able to get that he is from a village. Uh, that that village is quite a distance from here. Let's give him blankets. He doesn't say how far. Nuke the sack for more of it. It's all the way to be sure. But he does say, he does say that uh, the village is far from here. Uh, is there anything else? Do you guys relay that information? Oh, yeah. Yes. What the hell is he doing so far from home? Oh, great. There's more of these. Let me ask it. Why you... Far from village. Give me a second. Near? Uh-uh. <laughs> Near. <laughs> <laughs> I knew somebody would get it. Yes. <laughs> Give me a second here. You get it? Grower. Oh, <laughs> Sesame Street. Definitely don't send me a thing. Hello, froggy baby. <laughs> you ever see uh, Kung Pao enter the fist? Uh, yeah. Oh, God, it's so yeah. great. Yeah. Just, keep, I'm coming! He gets closer, closer, then back all the way. Okay, keep running through the hell scene again. Okay, further away. I'm sorry, he said away. north of his village. North of his village, he said, not south. The Pale Countess, he said north, not south. Okay. Okay, what did you say again? I'm sorry. Uh, why are you so far from village? He has name yet. He goes oh. and he, he picks up some bits and he says, Money. He puts away the bits. Mm. Seems to be spell components. Money. Hmm. Shit. I hope they're going to pay us some rocks. He picked up seeds, some barley, yeah. That big metal button. Yeah. Some rocks. Got guano, stuff like that. If and he has more pieces from thing. this airship, that'll be fine. I understand more the valuable. airship may be worth money, but he also said they would give us money. Would that one thing be a part of the airship? The button? Yeah. Oh, it's the button, yeah. 
Ask him about that. The metal piece in pouch is from flagship. Oh, I think it's off. You, they're like this, this. No. It is. We'll, we'll just say that he translates this because okay. you, you have a clear translation. But he he's he's not entirely sure like how you're able to like tell him. This is near it. This is from big rock. Man. Near airship. Do you guys say mountain or? We're just trying to translate back. Well, as he, he's describing it as a big yeah. rock near the airship. Is it a fiery rock or just a rock? Or is it another tower? Let me know when you guys translate back anything. To us? Yeah, yeah. Do this. When you're translating back, do this. Yeah. Because the rest of us are fucking clueless with how you guys tell us. Is mountain made of metal? It's not you metal. Idea it's just saying. big metal rock. No. He'll he'll grab a stick. We've already spent longer. He'll this draw time. something. <laughs> He's going to draw something. I just wanted to know it was real. Take a look. Okay. The Griffin could have had it as Quack far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, this could be a huge payday. He goes and he grabs a a stick. As he does, he's going to draw something. He's going to take the stick and he's going <clears throat> to do this. He's going to draw. He starts like drawing like little like symbols. Well, that's that big gold obelisk we saw already. <laughs> Ooh. Big rock, huh? Of some guy. Completely out of character. That's a fucking rocket. Basically. Yeah. That might be the airship itself. Uh, uh, crash I'm not so sure. I'm completely completely out there. Right? See, we're going to the moon next, aren't we? Which moon? Which <coughs> moon? <laughs> the one with air. Whichever one's closer. I want to go to the one with air. To your characters. Nah, I just want the closer one. <laughs> um. Yeah, it, it looks like whatever it looks like. So like you a tower with wings. A tower with a cape. He says, that's what I see. It, it's made of metal. It's got this big hard roof. It's got some fire stacks out of the top. It glows at night. What's he taking us to his village for? Because I asked him to. Every once in a while makes a big loud noise and then stops. Sorry, what did you say? Last question and then we'll camp for the night. Mm -hmm. You said spiders. Ah, the... Must have run away from that big one that was chasing you. Give me a second. I gotta see what they're called. Unless the griffins can, tra the spiders can transform into griffins. <laughs> Ooh, spider griffin, spider griffin, doing the ah. things that the spider griffin does. Ah, the it's arena. Himself. No, we can't. Arena. It's a griffin. 
You, you, you speak of arena. Yes, arena. 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 Hungry. Like taste of people. Of, what were they called? Oh. Of phantom. How many arena? <laughs> Too many. At least one. <laughs> it only <laughs> takes one. Hey, well, then small, <coughs> then yeah, one big one could do it. How do you get away from that spider anyway? How you get away from Arena? Oh, Arena can't fly. Only <laughs> trap. Make webs. Makes sense. They yeah. hunt night. Attack village. But we fight off. Kill Arena. Arena don't attack village. They hunt around. For wanderers like Mikab. You name Mikab? I've said it 13 times. Mikab! I name Edwin. Oh... Edwin! Rested my base, best half eaten Parmesan. <clears throat> or Parmesan? I don't know. Well, I get cheese. Papaya? <laughs> but papaya, yeah, yes. papaya. That's whatever fruit is. My fresh one of the cheese off this tree. <laughs> cheese tree! Woo! The juicy tree where you bite into Bacon it. tree. <laughs> juicy cheese. With a rough bark that you can grate okay, the cheese so, on the side of. So they're going to attack us at night. We should probably run double shifts. One thing's for sure, Scarlet will not be on a watch by herself. <laughs> she is not with us. <clears throat> not with you, but may catch up at one point. Yeah, but you know, yeah. even on the ship, she's not taking watch by herself. <laughs> no. Or kill sharpener. Yeah. Yes. You guys have you four, and you guys have three other NPCs with you. Mm-hmm. Who have been in one combat so far. That is of note. So, you guys all take watch. Who's taking a watch together? Uh, one character, one NPC at the same time. Sure. So, first watch is who? Uh, I will go with someone else's NPC in case something's happened. The, the healer. The healer. <coughs> okay. Who has first watch? Raise your hand. I'll take first watch. It's already right. dark as shit anyway, right? Yep. Who has second watch? Raise night. your hand. I'll yeah, take it's dark watch. as hell anyway. Second so. watch. Who has third watch? Take raise your hand. Who has fourth watch? Raise your hand. Okay. So I need everyone to roll me a d6. Early bird gets some worms. Uh, one person has to go solo, huh? Well, unless the monkeys. On spot. Did you say D6? Yeah, the monkey could be a watch if anyone. Monkey will pair up with the fourth person who doesn't have a partner. Oh, yeah, I'll pair up D6. With yeah, that works. Because I can talk to him. Yeah, you guys six. are in a dangerous part of the island. A D6. Six. Okay. Two. Everyone. Okay, two. Okay. You, roll me a D6 again. Oh, yeah. Way to fucking suck, goddammit. Five. Okay, no encounter. Okay. Good job. That's right. The night goes by unencumbered, but you hear noises in the distance. Every once in a while you hear a giant roar in the distance. You hear what appears to be like a loud bass. Sometimes you hear a response of something else, like... (laughs) You see things occasionally fly in the air. They are birds bigger than you've ever seen. You can't tell what they are. But every once in a while, they're highlighted in the moonlight. They are pterodactyls. What moonlight? There's moonlight. There's a little bit of moonlight that comes through the trees as it does break mm. every once in a while. But it is dense jungle cover. And the dense jungle cover protects you from any flying predators. Good. Well, shit on my it. bag. <clears throat> um, no, it's Cory. In the distance, uh, somebody. Flying bears. Who's the third watch? Uh, Me. You. Thank you. 
Roll me a perception check. Nine. Nine. Hey, if you're only on fire during combat, you don't see anything. Mm. Okay. Uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, Mech goes by unencumbered. Uh, it is now daytime. Uh, is anybody missing? <laughs> no one's missing. Yay! You guys have an uneventful night. I didn't you screw were... up as bad as Scarlet. <laughs> you are currently in that hex. Wait until we get back to the ship, we'll see what troubles you got into. I mean the map. I will show you exactly oh, yeah. where you We are. gotta go, we're under attack. Oh yeah, also half this the crew was kidnapped. Now that we're away from the ship. Uh, and the other half has herpes. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, you're also currently super right in. here. Like right where this is. Uh, okay. Actually, if you want to hand me the, the one with the hexes on it, you won't mark it. Yeah, here, give me a pen. Or pencil. Pencil. I don't want to make any permanent pen, marks. Pen, pencil. Do double D double da. Do double D double. All right, another laptop. You want a new pencil? Yeah. I'll throw more at you. You want a new laptop? <laughs> I'll throw more of those, too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I made a little X by the tree where you guys are. <clears throat> You're right along the coast? No, oh, yeah. You're the forest. We're about 60 miles from the wall. Yeah. Well, it's not 30 miles per hex. It's only like, uh, I'd have to say it's like, uh, I think it's like 5 miles per hex. Because the entire island is like 100 miles long. From tip to tip, and then about 30 miles, uh, 30 to 45 across. So each hex is how much? Each hex? Each each hex is probably about 5 miles. We're 10 miles from the wall. Now, on a <coughs> overworld map, is it 30 miles wall. or something? 30 miles per yeah. hex on the big world map. Okay. And the, the, the island is about uh, 3 hexes tall and about a hex and a half across, okay. if I remember right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do you to his village? Okay. okay. I need a survival check with advantage. Alright. Actually, no, it'll just be a survival check, but he, the DC is lowered 15. from challenging to difficult. 15. Because he has a guide. Uh, 15. Okay. You uh, move one hex north. Please uh, keep track of that. One hex north. Can I have a pencil? Without so much eye penetration, please. Is there a different part you prefer to get penetrated? Several. Since uh, you asked. <laughs> since you succeeded, uh, roll me a... Everyone roll me a d6. Four. I bet you rolled a six. I gotta turn off the sound on this. <laughs> <laughs> no one rolled a six. Okay. <laughs> no encounters yet. Uh, <coughs> do you want to choose uh, northwest, northeast? Did we go to the white square? Yeah. Okay. Actually, just point to the next square you're going to. Show it to me. Um, where are the monkey guys leading us? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he, you're going to go northwest. So the next square in the hexagon to the northwest. Uh, that one, uh, roll me a survival check again. Survival! Eleven. Eleven. Uh, you have to roll another survival check. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Fuck. All right. That is... Uh, you figured out what was wrong last time. <laughs> yes. Yes. We got lost. Uh, oh, shit. Those were my roll me, roll me a d6 again. Everybody? Everybody. Uno. Three. Trey? Everybody. No encounter. Okay, uh, you eventually get past the forest. As you get past the forest, you get into some hill lands, and you start traveling uh, along the hill lands. Uh, one, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three. The captain. Roll me a perception check. Thirteen. Thirteen. In the distance, 
Uh, as you break the hills, you do notice now, further, maybe a mile off, since you've kind of broken from the forest, it's like some flat rolling hills with the occasional tree, uh, just hills as far as the eye can see, so you're guessing at least three miles. Uh, with the occasional tree, uh, think of like the, uh, the prairies of Iowa, northern Iowa, if you've ever come there, where they have those uh, preserved prairie lands. Mm -hmm. um, your character, uh, since your eyes are snake light and they're attracted to motion, it's uh -oh. like natural habit, you see some motion along the trees. You see what you think is a tiger at first. You keep your eyes on it. It's about a mile off, and then you see two tigers. And then you see three tigers. And then you notice there's something on the tiger's back. It appears to be humanoid. But it itself also has fur, much like a tiger. You see long, you see, it is a mile off, so you can't tell, but you do see what appears to be glowing eyes, real quick, of the tiger and the thing. It has small tusks and a long spear. It's like a tiger riding a tiger. Humanoid tiger, top of a giant one. Playing personal privilege? Yes. Can we take a bathroom break? And there is where we're going to take a bathroom break. Time we'll be right back. Privilege down. is right, Jesus, Neil. What? what? Privilege is right. God, I don't know why you think you deserve one. I mean, I can pee in this perfectly nice bag here. That's why it's there. Yeah. Right. Hey, we got to get I'm viewers somehow. Forgery. I can always we have I can one viewer, over there. and I'm guessing it's one of you guys. <laughs> okay, thoughts? You guys having fun? Having trouble so far? Not liking something? I fun? hate it. That's fun. Okay, traveling in Iron I the Isle of Dread. Surprise! You guys haven't got wait, many encounters so far. Wait, right. the T Rex rolling D sixes. I mean, literally. There's four of you. <laughs> I'm rolling a dice. One of you has to hit my number. <laughs> so how did that work for your system there? Because you had me roll another one. It's if I rolled basically well enough past that, then um, I avoid it, or what was going yeah, on? Yeah, if, if if you roll what I roll, mm -hmm. so basically you roll dice, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then if if the number of people that I roll is how many times that I roll again, mm -hmm. then I have you guys roll. If you roll mm -hmm. what I roll, you don't have an encounter. If you don't roll what I roll, on the second roll, we have an encounter. Oh, okay. So the more people that roll what you roll when I roll that, is the more that could screw it up. Okay. Uh -huh. So my second roll, I rolled the one number that you also did. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So it's to avoid an encounter. So even if I get yours... And sometimes encounters are not always negative. I have an encounter chart here. It's between 1 and 100. Sometimes they're a T-Rex. Sometimes it's treasure. It's time Jesus. He was behind the couch the whole sometimes. time. He was inside me the whole it time. I mean, literally. <laughs> let me in. Why? So I can save you from what I'll do to you if you don't let me in. <laughs> Thanks, Jesus. <laughs> That seems really hostile. Why can't you know a... Jesus, please link and subscribe to the Doobly Doo. <laughs> oh, but Tony, Jesus says link and subscribe to all of our Doobly Doos. That's um, what the church boys uh, were. That was a huge load off my mind. Oh, Doobly, you're too. That's where your mind is located. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, it's time to camp for another night. Who's taking what watch with whom? Your mom with you your mom. You can have two NBCs taking watch if you want. I mean, that's also a thing. I will take the third watch. I will take first. With the healer. Okay. With the monkey man. Okay. 
What, what was his name? Oh, Mikab. 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 I'll take second watch with the Dragonborn. Okay. Trey, that leaves you. We can go with Lagoon. Uh, or you well, can let Lagoon sleep. Your, your call. We haven't fleshed him out fully yet. He's not a very deep character yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Everyone roll me a, a d6. Four. Four. Five. Five. One. Roll again, Tom. Yeah! Four. I can't see that. Top one. Uh, four? Yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Twice. You can't get me on encounters, Tony. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, um, right along. what we're going to do... A place and fancy free. Campfire stories real quick. Oh. I haven't done those in a while. Okay, we kind of got our first one out of the way. So, everyone, pick a dice, or pick a, pick a card, any card, on this deck. Pick a card, hand it on. And give, give me the cards when you're done. Those are what they are over there. Current events. Ask another. King country. Family and friends. Glory. I'm going to take that one. I like, I like that. Interpret them as you will. Damn it, Jay. I wanted that one. You can use the symbology on the card to help you. Doesn't have to be anything big. Can be water cooler. There we go. I have that. I will draw a card for Mikab. It is... Fuck, what is that? That is family and friends. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, who wants to go first? Oh, I got it. You got it? Okay, yeah. we're going to go clockwise. <clears throat> Next. All right. Who... Do you want to tell? Who are you up with? Uh, I'm going to be talking to Smoot for Smoot. <laughs> reasons we're up. Okay. <laughs> Why are you out here anyway? Don't you have some noble or powerful family to go back and live with? Seems like a risky place for you to be. Well, after I killed the hooker, I mean, <laughs> the hooker died in the accident. <laughs> paladin, folks. That's a paladin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the family thought it would be best if I sought adventure elsewhere. Do they finance you? Some. I did have nice armor. <clears throat> did? Look what I have now. It's fantastic. <laughs> <Say that worse. laughs> That's right, he did upgrade, yeah. I full chain. Chain's pretty good. It's not cheap. Mm -mm. Chain's difficult to make. Now that's your backup set. Yeah. Or actually, I turn that into the ship's armory. Oh, right, right. So right. whoever. Somebody else's backup set. You can always give it to an NPC too. They can up their AC. Anyway, keep going. I don't mean to run. Uh, they did uh, give me a certain amount of coin and told me to. Stay away until I've figured my shit out. It's a very ill-defined goal. Well, I haven't figured my shit out yet. You'll know it when you do, or do they just not so. want you to come back? I assume so. At some point, my shit will come into alignment. <clears throat> Regret is that I have but one lamp to live. <laughs> you have bonitis. <laughs> Piggy and who? Squidge! <laughs> Squidge! <laughs> My only regret is that Piggy and Squidge couldn't come with me. Why not? Find them. We got room on our ship. Their families were not quite as traumatized as mine. All the more reason to recruit them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll they need to get out and live a little. To do that, we would have to go back to the shoals of the Chappaquiddick. Yes, that place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
and I'm not going back there until my shit has come into alignment. You know, take over the family when you get back? We'll say. You should. <laughs> so yes, I may. Figure out your shit and their shit. Their shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, bitches. You all need to get the hell out of my house. <laughs> That's Don Smoot. Instead <laughs> <laughs> of Zorro, it's Edwin. A couple more cuts. <laughs> <laughs> We're slashing all the easy stuff. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> Tendonitis. Oh. Fucking tennis elbow. <laughs> He does an S. All right, cool. Looks more like a Z. Close enough. You good? I'm good. Trey? Oh, you're not clockwise. You're not clockwise. Oh, yes. Current events. That's my thing. Uh, Let's see. Captain, might I have a word with you for a moment? This adventure we're currently on this island to procure. Dreadful, isn't it? Quite, yes. I know our goal is to get a rather hefty payday out of this, provided we find. Although, whatever we come across as well as the jewel we were commissioned. I'm just curious, as Captain, what your current goal is after we do make this payday. For me, this is for money, for wealth, for power. If you want to advance in this world, you need to make a name for yourself. But power by what means precisely? Any means. I may be well, honored. Wealth will do it well enough. I may be honest, what drives me isn't so much wealth at this particular time, but rather the circumstances that placed me in this crew. And no one keeps you here now? <laughs> but if you leave, away. we'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> You're free to walk away. <laughs> here on this island, <laughs> in the darkness, <laughs> in the middle of the night. But if you want to leave, speak now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Specifically, the slavers who brought us together in the first place. <clears throat> Off. I don't know what your feelings are, but I personally, in the future, would very much like to find who precisely was responsible for our enslavement. We did. And we killed them. We took their boat, as you may recall. The crewmen, yes, but they were working for somebody. And I'd be very much interested in who is employing slavers, particularly attempting to capture wizards such as myself. That is what drives me currently. Wait, how are you here anyway? Why did they catch you? I was celebrating with some classmates of mine after completing their last semester at school and while trying to my way back home in the dark was ambushed by somebody. I was somewhat intoxicated at the time, did not have my wits about me. Did you drunkenly stumble onto the wrong boat? No. I've heard that happens. <laughs> I do not believe this was a mere accident that I happened to be captured. That was Trace Campaign? That was before you. Wait, which one? Oh, wait, let's yeah, say, Trace Viking campaign. I started the, the whole thing. Oh, your bard got drunk. Yeah, my yeah. bard got drunk and slept underneath the deck of this Viking longship. Mm -hmm. They set sail. I came out, peed off the end of the boat, and tried to go back to sleep. <laughs> we had a paladin kill themselves in one of our games once just because they were drunk and going on a houseboat and it got disconnected. And they weren't paying attention and they took a drink and 
Well, they were in full plate. They did not swim very well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My point being, Captain, I will gladly sit aboard this crew and follow whatever commands you give. If in the future we pick up any leads on whoever was behind our enslavement, I would be very much inclined to work toward that goal. Vengeance is a noble goal. I can agree to this. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> I think that's good for me. Okay. Who's staying up with the uh, with the little uh, raccoon person? Okay. Can I say his name again? Mikab. Mikab, thank you. I never heard of him. Anyway. Mikabash. <clears throat> so. Mikobash. Two family has smooth family has At this point you get rough words. Okay. Me has no family. Family? <laughs> no family. <laughs> no family. <laughs> how do you how you say <laughs> rough companions? Not pretty. <laughs> yes. Motherfucking concept image. Has three family, now two family. I like this guy's plan. Less family. family. Because spider people. Arena. 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 Good, good. You smart. Arena. North. Past. Village. Big hungry. For family. Bad. Ugly spider people. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly companions. <laughs> Kill Arena. Ah. That you were betraying. Well, persuasion. Right there. <laughs> He's getting confused. Kill your companions? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ugly companions kill Arena. Oh. Okay, it stirs this, but it takes Roll the two. What? what did I just uh, hear? My what? persuasion, that would make it a nine. Nine. Okay, it's not terrible because your persuasion. <clears throat> uh, he, he starts to reach and they say, oh. <laughs> good. Yes. That's that's pretty much it. Is. All right. Who's next? I need uh, your cards if you use them. Let's see. I'm good. Uh, Just a uh, ask another. Ask another. That means you can ask anybody <coughs> else anything. You can kick somebody awake during their watch if you want. It's not going to do it. You! I have a question. Kick him in the Hey! You what? <laughs> kick him in the ribs. It's just fucking. You could be an NPC. You could be anything. Some traveling companions with you on cards. Ew. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fuck. Hell. Shit. Damn. What? What? Why are you such a shitty sniper? <laughs> 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 
Papota. Papota. What the fuck is the rabbit saying? <laughs> Such a shitty snapper. You ever fired a gun before, boy? Why the hell would I need a gun? And I pull out the bad news. You ever fired a gun that fires bullets this fucking big? No, you haven't. You know how much that son of a bitch kicks like a mule? Right in the shoulder. I took a griffin in the shoulder. Yeah, well, where you come from, they're growing big and dumb, don't they? <laughs> I remember that next time you need help, and I'm from on high. I try, okay? <laughs> I've never fired a gun before. <laughs> this shit ain't easy. You gotta guess... Drop distance, wind. You don't have your wind in your sweatshirt. <laughs> if I haven't had enough rum in my bloodstream, my hands get all shaky. <laughs> so fuck me for trying, right? I'm an inventor. I made this gun. It is got blood, sweat, tears. Uh, I'm assuming half the camp is awake at this point. <laughs> like the I... monkey guy's just staring at you with like, his big eyes like, did you find that gun in that tower? No, no, no. I found this one in the tower. <laughs> this one I made, okay? And it... Wasn't it so important it's gonna take some time. in the middle of the night? <laughs> the fuck's the rabbit say? What? Chantoka, Chantoka, Mikoka, Chantoka. Uh, roll me an intelligence check. Is he accusing him of compensating? You're a plus four. <laughs> plus four? Yeah, you're a plus four. You have linguist. You always get a plus four. Do I add my int saving for Yeah, no, no, no. It's your intelligence modifier. <clears throat> okay. Plus four. So, 24. 24. Wow. God damn, you rolled good. Uh, he's going to say, I've seen one of those before. He's seen one before. Yeah, my fucking uh, hands. <laughs> where, where you see Chantoka? He, just, he starts drawing the tower again. Remember the tower? That's why he's seen one. Well, fuck me. We better get to this goddamn tower. I bet there's just a bazooka waiting around on us. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back to sleep. Can you keep your outburst to not the middle of the night? <laughs> he asked me a very important question, okay? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> the shit down, Turnactyl. This is a pterodactyl flying above. <laughs> like a horse. Like a horse in like its 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 claws as it's flying by. <laughs> Maybe like pop off a shot at it. <laughs> it drops the horse because it's startled. It drops the horse. It is startled. A horse falls on the ground screaming. Dead. Splat. And then just a bird going right. As a pterodactyl flies away. Suck it, you punk ass bitch! <laughs> well, at least you've got new rations. Oh my uh, god. Roll me an attack. With disadvantage. Okay. What do you think you're protecting? I'm gonna see if you hate it. <laughs> oh, I did. I rolled a 15 twice. I hit the shit out of that fucking you pterodactyl. You nailed the wing out of the pterodactyl. It goes flying. It hits the trees about three miles in the distance. Crash. You blew <laughs> through <laughs> the wing. The <laughs> better aim than normal. <laughs> That was from the hip! <laughs> Just wide like, bam! Watch it crash. <laughs> that was from the hip! <laughs> That's another one. Give in to your rage. That is the secret. <laughs> Join the dark mind. side. Take a level of barbarian, <laughs> and then use a gun. <laughs> Get a rage shooter. 
AKA a Republican. Telling jokes because I got Necromancer or the Star, but it says Necromancer. So. Current events. Star is current events. Necromancer can be whatever you want. So yeah, make a joke. joke. So uh, I looked up jokes from a Necromancer. Okay, do it. Do it. <clears throat> so uh, <clears throat> I'm sitting there. I heard these jokes from a Necromancer, man. Funny fucking jokes. First one. Why was my skeletal army too afraid to fight the Paladin Fortress? Why? I didn't have any guts. Get it? Ah! Get it. <laughs> Don't talk on top. Why was my reanimated zombie so tired in the morning? He had to work graveyard shift. Is that the captain or is that you? <laughs> uh, no, me, Lagoon, or sorry. Yeah, Captain is sleeping. He is having nothing good. He's Lagoon thinks you're hilarious. No, he's he's coughing from a coil up pile of Captain. <laughs> and, you know, so I coil up and my head just goes in the coil. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm out, bitches. <laughs> God, I could see that too. Like that's how you sleep. Yeah. You, you're basically just a spine, then just like you just pretty much just laying on your own body. So yeah. I put my head inside. Yeah, yeah, that makes right. sense. So you can sleep. Yeah. Yeah, you are top tier comedy, Julian. Really he loves it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say to my skeletons before I was going to give them dinner? Bone appetite. <laughs> What was the easiest thing for me to do in elementary school? Spelling tests. Huh? Spell. <clears throat> you thought it was funny. <clears throat> Mildly humorous, yes. <clears throat> what do I call my minions if they don't work hard enough? Lazy sacks of bones. I'm on the record, I'm translating. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> like pulling out bones from my elbow? <laughs> Why don't my shadows like to party? They have nobody to dance with. We're getting like a ten minute discussion. Here. Yeah, like, he is. just doesn't get like the puns. Like, yeah. It's like trying to explain idioms across languages. Yeah, it's yeah. worse. <laughs> well, not really speaking each other. Yeah, language. true. Even yeah. worse. What's that one? Star Trek? Jalactamar at whatever? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Tanagra. Tanagra. Darmok and Tanagra at some place. Yeah. See so uh, your. Do we still have this camera on? Uh, no, no, okay. it's off. It's off. Uh, all right. You guys got some uh, busting out some jokes? I'm just doing some jokes as I'm making like sausages and Good. horse sausage. Hor- yeah, horse sausage. <clears throat> just one giant Any sausage. potatoes? Uh, anybody got a card potatoes. they want to give me? Potatoes. Cards? Uh, yeah. Card. Cards. Yeah, yeah. You mean starch in the ball fold. Okay. So, the night <coughs> passes uneventful. Uh, the morning breaks. You guys have breakfast. You guys are able to rest. 
You guys are currently on the hills. Uh, you are 5, 10, 15 miles from the coast. Did we go northeast or northwest? Hand me the map. I can X where you guys go. <coughs> I drew two trees in the map. On our path. Yep. Uh, okay. Hand me the, uh, hand me a pen. Soul. Oh, there we go. Sorry, thank you. Right. He was inside me the whole time. Gross. Should we just smuggle it into prison? Let's watch. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. Father well, gave me this. Should Be damned if those commas are getting handling this boy's birthright. A fucked up flight monologue. Right. One, two, three. Bring it up again. Yeah. Sleeping. I guess you'd better wake him up then. Okay. I'll try it here. I'll just write it down. I'll show you guys the map when we get there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm making a. I am a horrible artist. You are much better than me. Okay. Uh, okay. You have the choice. Uh, you got. He's gonna keep. Uh, roll me a survival check. All of us. No. Uh, no. No. Mini -mini. Our, our track. Mini -mini. Yeah. Except Lagoon. Good. I need yes. a survival check. Sorry, okay. Uh, it is, since you are a hilly terrain, <clears throat> it goes from difficult to uh, proficient. Ooh. Okay, you got 18. 18, nice. Okay, you guys move there. Uh, <coughs> north. As you move north, you find what appears to be a road. It's a beaten path road. But it's a road. No. No brick? No brick. It's dirt. Dirt. It's a dirt road. But you do find a road. Uh, it seems to be uh, moving north, and he uh, appears to want you to continue on past the road. We'll keep following him. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it. We decide we don't want to go to your village. Screw up, monkey. <laughs> Uh, okay, roll me another survival check. Uh, it is just a proficient. Uh, road. proficient what? Uh, okay, I'm good. 13. 13. He does have you move north <coughs> of the road. You guys reach what appears to be, uh, the end of a road. And he has you... Well, you happen to have this area mapped out at all? No, they don't have maps. Okay. Uh, you head north. You're in some grasslands now. Uh, everyone, roll me a d6 for encounters. Four, a five, a two, and a six. Neil, roll me a d6. God damn it, Neil! Do you not roll what I rolled? Obviously. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <clears throat> We're all dead. Dude. Combat time. The sausage comes back up a little. Oh, oh god. Uh, <laughs> this is the combat you were expecting. <laughs> all of you roll for diarrhea. I don't think you cleaned out those intestines for the sausage. Roll the dig a latrine, quick, quick. Roll to get my armor off. Uh, somebody roll me. Do it Actually, I'll roll for some dogs. 76. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, go ahead and move these hills around. You got attacked by 76 griffins. Let's go. Um, uh, like, um, like that? Um, <laughs> <coughs> sure. And uh, move some uh, trees around. You guys are now on the grasslands, so there's some sparse trees. You can actually move some trees. Uh, take uh, three trees off. And put them back in the containers. Actually, take all but three trees off because you're in grasslands. What is this guy? This is Apex B. Complete aside, 
one of the channels on my Roku. Somebody has made one for the TV show called The Star Lost. <laughs> Haven't heard of it. Okay. Canadian TV show was on for one season, canceled, like early 70s, mid 70s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Originally conceived of by Harlan Ellison, but Canadian television fucked it up so much he took his name off it. Mm. Sounds about right. It stars um, one of the guys from 2001, Keir DeLeo. He's the one who played Dave Bowman. Oh, okay. And it's a generation ship. It's got these domes, like 50-some domes of different cultures. Mm -hmm. And they don't know that the crew is dead and the ship's going to collide with a star until the stars, or the, the star players, find that out. And they're trying to save the ship and wander around and have adventures. It's so bad, it's good. <laughs> roll me, everyone roll me a perception check. Actually, no. I'm going to roll me four. Tom, roll me a perception check. All right, perception. Fifteen. Fifteen, you do notice it. Nope. There is a gigantic bird, bigger than you've ever seen before. It is dive bombing from the clouds, straight at the party. It goes, <laughs> You are, oh, and none of you are can't surprised. You can't be surprised. So, roll yeah. initiative. Oh shit, stuck. Let's oh, do man. this! Mm. Ooh! Not great. Great. Sacrifice! <laughs> Throw it the squirrel! Tuck, tuck. <laughs> Sacrifice, tuck, tuck to the giant Sorry, bird. Tuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's racist. What's the dexterity on this thing? Nine. <laughs> tuck, tuck, isn't it? I got 21, Neil. Jesus. You mean I got 21? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you, I, you can do that. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, the, this thing got a 16. So where does that go? So far below me. Oh, nice. I got a 12. You mean below Neil. <laughs> yeah, right? I got an 11. Okay. Okay. I got a eight. So I should probably turn on the battle cam just for that. <coughs> that yeah. Is, uh, we got this fancy little battle cam here for cameras of battle-like things. You want, I'm gonna leave it just like that. Trey, do you want to go before me? Nah, I might as well go after you. Because I can do cleanup. Okay. So, uh, this about, thing. Uh, monkey guy. Monkey guy? He has no idea. <clears throat> you can't be surprised, but he's a cow. He's going to hide. Okay. That's good. He's very squishy. What does he hide on? He hides in your backpack. No, but. Oh, initiative wise. Uh oh. The sword went ding ding ding. He's like, oh god, and just immediately panics. <laughs> yeah, he, he panics and hides in your backpack. Your okay. door, he's boots. He's a medium sized creature <laughs> fitting inside of your backpack. Actually, he's not even. He's more like the man. He is yes. small. Uh, he is two feet tall. He is slightly shorter than a half leg. Okay. If only Skylar were here, she could finally tower over somebody. <laughs> Corey's character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, next in the initiative. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, this thing is exactly as you see it. It is it is dive bombing you. Claws open. It looks like a hawk about to try to grab something and fly off. Look to the skies! Eldridge will pass down at it. Ooh, a 19 on the die, so that'll, I assume, hit <coughs> like a 26. You get, two, you get two of them. Right, okay. So... Do I roll for each hit on each one yeah. of those? Okay. Roll for each hit. Uh, that one is an 18 total. 18 will also hit. You hit it twice. Three times gets mm -hmm. you the AC. Uh, right. Damage. And that is 
Whoop, Eldritch Blast. Just one D10 per, right? Yes, okay. All right, so six and four, so 10 whole damage. And then Lagoon is going to Hunter <coughs> Market and he will shoot it. Hopefully. Hunter's Mark is what, 60? Uh, I guess I don't know. I didn't see the range on the card, so I wasn't. Uh, we'll, we'll say it's fine for now. Okay. Well, he missed anyway, unless its AC is um, 10. No. Damn. Okay, he misses. All right, that's our turn. Okay. All right. Next is the Eagle. Next is the Eagle. Uh, one, two, three, four. I got his Five, attention. Five, six. There are six of them. You sure did. One, two. So it was one, two, three, four, and then five and six is your companions. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. He looks right at me. <laughs> we have three companions. It's going to fly down. It does a beak attack against you first. Okay. What's your AC? <clears throat> 14. All right. If you take... <laughs> Sounds like max damage. No, no, it's not. It's 2d8. Uh, plus 5 is going to be 15. 15 as it drives its beak into you. Ah! It's, 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 a, it's a powerful little bite. <clears throat> Next is its claws come up and try to grab you in the chest. Oh, fuck. That's more than likely a hit. I'm about to be airborne, gentlemen. Well, it's a good new thing part, it's a sniper to seven. out of the... It's a seven. Okay. Okay. Newport, you make it a seven. Okay, Trey, uh -huh. what is your AC? Fourteen. Seven plus seven. Oh, 14. no! No! That was a good try. <laughs> it's the good lowest shot. portent I had today. I'm and sorry. It's fine. You, you try to bend and twist fate, but you're unsuccessful. As the rocks challenge, a ah. junior rock, not a full rock. Oh, oh, great. Gets a hold of you. What's this fly? 90? Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, God. Gentlemen, I'm going to fall a long <laughs> way. You're not going to fall. You're just going to leave. Bye. Bye, Rutherford. 25, 30. Bye, Rutherford. Bye, Rutherford. Off the edge. I've just ordered him. <laughs> you best not be killing him. <laughs> Rutherford is currently right here. I really hope you don't die. Because if not, his next round, he's going up. Y'all better light this motherfucker up. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Do you want... Yeah, go ahead and wrangle that. I'm oh, sorry, oh. I'm not going over stuff. This is why I don't care. Because you're drunk. I'm not drunk. Yeah, Actually, he's going to drop you? I'm not drunk. you drunk. I'm going to try and sell I'm right. not drunk at all, you... Son of a wonderful woman. It's beautiful. Seriously, tell her to call me, please. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> tell her to give me a call. My mother would not remember you. <laughs> Even she better. Dead? No, she's got uh, early onset uh, oh. dementia. That's Every night's a one night sad. Alright. I had a 15 minute conversation with her last year about what day Thanksgiving was. Oh, that's Thursday. Yeah. Except she kept saying, okay, so Saturday, right? Oh. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Sorry, Neil. Mm. That's rough. Man. That's what it is. So, Sarah's mother went. Her grandmother. So, next in the initiative is... <laughs> uh, moving <laughs> on! Yeah. Yeah. Can, you, can, you move that, can you move that toward, like, turn towards me? Take the blue and move them uh, to the other side, please. You're so demanding. I am. I like. Yeah, I got all. Corey wouldn't let this happen if he were here. I know. He runs a Missy tight Corey. ship. Missy <laughs> uh, Corey. Not a tight ship, but the the post. Yeah, he does. Well. <laughs> Is he watching right now? Probably not. I don't He's, know. He was working late. Yeah, that's. Uh, and he is watching. The fuck, man. Right? Yeah. Link is subscribing to the dude. Why aren't you well, Skyping your bitch ass over here? Work or not, they won't mind. Hey, next initiative <laughs> is. It's me. Johnny. Uh... <laughs> Johnny, don't make Trey make another gunslinger. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. You got another backup character. You got to get through him first. Can you do there. reactions whenever? Uh, yes. yes. Okay, I want to use my reaction to command him to disarming shot the rock. 
I was going to do that anyway. Yeah, but I'm using my reaction. Oh, that you means there. you can immediately do it as oh. you're on your turn. Okay. You now expend your reaction to do the what he says. Shot. Okay. You have to do exactly what he says, so you have to expend your Okay, uh, I will blow a thingy. That's the big rock. You're going to blow the rock? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy, Lee. No problem. You're trying to like pull a Kurt Cobain here. Ah. <laughs> Some anyway, jokes. so uh, yeah, with some dark jokes. The later we go, the more depressing. Hey, <laughs> have you seen that suicide shot where it looks like Sid the Sloth? What? No. Oh, what? okay. It's like a horrible kind of gore thing, but the way his head got destroyed, it looks like Sid from freaking Ice Age. Oh, it's really hard not to laugh at, even though it's really bad. Is it oh, Kurt Cobain? Yeah. No, not Kurt Cobain. Just a random guy. <laughs> okay. But it's a shotgun or whatever. Hit. Does a 15 hit? 13 hit? A, a 19 probably will. Okay, is that important? 19 plus 1 plus 6 is. Uh, 19 26. will definitely hit. The 13 also hit, but the 19 will definitely hit. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, well, whatever. AC? No, that's fine. You don't know until you. Bang! Hit. AC is 13. Oh, well, at least it's not. those up early today. Um, so, hey, yeah, he needs to that? make a uh, DC 12 strength check or drop my ass. DC 12, how strong is a rock? Ooh. How strong is the rock? DC 12? Uh-huh. It doesn't matter how strong you think the rock is! He just floats above so you. Like, 12, right? Is it Dwayne kidnapping him? Yes. Just bumping his pecs back <laughs> and forth. It's okay. I've got another it's turn. 14. 14. i got another turn to spend another grid. Okay. I'm trying, man. Next to the initiative. You do. Thank uh, you. My turn. Uh... Free yourself. Oh, oh shit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> free yourself. Oh, he right. takes his gun and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's free. one way to do it. God damn it! <laughs> that would have been. I mean, technically uh, it works, but it doesn't work. Alright. Yeah. We took a long rest when we started. I get oh, yeah. two shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> huh? I uh, have two actions. Does that uh, uh, for for the com- uh, the commander shot uh, for the commander's action? It's specifically one, action. one attack. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I believe All I can right. specify that. I'm gonna call it. Actual... You perform an action, and the uh, actions are these. Get... Oh wait, no. one attack. <clears throat> well, it did recharge my wand. Fully oh, charged, actually. Really lucky roll there. So. Oh, yeah. Roll to <clears> six. Gonna do yeah another six level. Magic missile. Uh, oh, she's eight, eight D four yeah, on the rock. Sure eight. Somebody should tweet at this guy. I'm just saying, tweet at the rock. Are you sure it's eight D four? Yeah, it's uh, it's three D four, and sure then one D four for every level. Every so, level or every spell slot. Level? Every every spell slot level. So <clears throat> he uses he uses six charges. Uh-huh. Right, that makes yep. it a oh fuck six start first. Yeah, it makes sixth level, first level, second level, third oh, level, fourth level, okay. fifth level, sixth level. And then you add your three, and that's okay. That's eight. Okay. Cool. Don't. Yeah. You can look at all those ones. Hey, 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 I need you to roll better. Nine plus. Yeah. One of magic missiles is pretty good if you blow it all at once, and if Ooh. you don't, it's it's Ten, pretty much magic 14, missile every turn. 18, boom, boom, it's boom. Harassed to break two plus yeah. six. And it's used an object, so plus eight. Still allows it. Twenty plus eight, so thirty. Thirty. Damn. 40. Uh, no, he's, that's a 40, Neil. He's uh, not bloodied yet. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. So, no, that's 40, not 30. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mess him up. Because he had 10 already. Damn it. Damn it. We don't want the bird to take breath 40 of bird away. <laughs> it's all. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, and my uh, other guy. My other guy. I forgot. Your other guy. Uh, what the heck is this? What's the other guy doing? Uh, yeah. He's not close enough to fire so he'll do a fire bolt. Oh, All right. Again, his, his, his throat starts to swell up, glows golden red, and doosh, shoots out a firebolt. Oh, uh, no, I know what it is. It's the and caps. he makes it, so that's going to be... Yeah, see, just caps to that now. D10 or 2D10? Or uh, 1D10, he's the only third level. When he reaches fifth level, it's 2D10. Come on. Five. Five. Four damage. Four damage. Every little bit helps. Yep, it would. It would. It most certainly do. So, Neil's up next. Okay. 
We don't let him fly away. Champion challenge. Where are you going, drumsticks? Are you within 30? <laughs> so, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's just within 30, but you have to run underneath him. Okay. I'll catch you. Fuck, let me count that again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, fuck it. The laser hits him, so it counts. Okay. Uh, champion challenge. He has to make, what, a wisdom saving throw? Believe yes. Wisdom saving throw DC 15. I get kicked in the ass. Rocks are not known for their wisdom. Okay. Uh, you feel it take hold. He's not going further than 30 feet away from me. He's not. Sucker. Okay. I'm going to hold my attack. Uh, is it your action to you, champion challenge, or a bonus action? It says bonus action. Oh, that's your bonus action. Nice. You hold your attack. What's the declaration? Uh, until he comes within range. Okay, then you attack Trey. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no, he's not that bad a sniper. Okay. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Maybe if you just shot better, you want to be getting captured like this. <laughs> this is unfair. <laughs> it's true. Next time I'm staying on the boat. Rutherford's having a very bad day. Next to the initiative is Trey. What are you doing? Cool. I'm going to try to shoot this motherfucker in the hand. Okay. <laughs> so I can try. Shoot him. Oh, uh, ra range attacks in melee suffer disadvantage. Mm. Didn't do that last time. No, mm, you didn't. Oh, don't worry. You missed last time anyway. Yeah. I believe there's actually a, a grit thing you can blow to not have that. five on both of them. That's oh. impressive. Uh, so that's 12. Oh. So first shot misses. <clears throat> uh, second shot, please be higher. That's a 19 and a 13 plus, plus stuff. So, I that'll mean, hit. you know, that'll hit. You hit with the second one. Do you declare the grit thing oh, before hell, or yeah. after? You declare it on the hit. I declare it on the hit, yep. Okay, so you can you can wait till you hit. Okay, you do hit. You right. choose disarming shot, right? Yep. 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 Okay. I'm um, the damage anyway. Did he take the damage from my shots last time? Because I shot him in the hand. That, that was a 10, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that 10 was from the Elder's Blast. Oh. What was your damage from last time? I, didn't, I don't think I rolled then. Um, yeah, because all you were worried about was the strength uh, for right. last time. Um, so go ahead and roll the damage for last time. Um, 10 damage. 10 damage last time. And then this time it's. Eh, 14. So 14 this time. Okay. Right. And uh, he has to give me another DC 12 uh, strength save. DC 12 strength save. Trey, roll me a D20. What did you roll? I got a five. You rolled a five. Uh -huh. Okay. Did you really roll a five? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. He drops you. Oh. Yay! Neil, you can choose to take an attack of opportunity if you'd like. Smite him. Aim for the fence. Uh, let Boom. me uh, <laughs> just hold your sword up. <laughs> so you're <laughs> You do that, you hit me back up into him and then pop him back with you. <laughs> okay, Trey, take 11 bludgeoning damage as you fall prone on the ground. Actually, roll me a acrobatic <clears throat> check. This would be a tumbling check to uh, land on your feet and break both legs. Ooh, I got a 19 okay. plus 1. Nice. Uh, you fall and you do a superhero landing with your gun in a really cool motion, but fuck your legs hurt. Oh, superhero geez. landings are bullshit. This sucks. To everyone else, it looks cool. How much damage did that take? You get you 11, 11 bludgeoning damage to your knees. I ain't gonna walk. At least it's not an arrow. You're gonna feel you that know. in uh, your forehead. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm feeling it now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next to the initiative is uh, uh, actually no Trey. Uh, do you have anything else you want to do? Um, do? You have a bonus action and whatever else you can do. At sixty-eight. Fuck it. No, I'm gonna do. 
Where is my action surge? You know that pterodactyl shot you did last night? Yeah. Do that again! Now <laughs> I'm out of close combat range. Yeah, now it's normal. Uh, this is your so fourth shot, I believe, with the rifle. Third. No, you did one on his on his action. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so this is your fourth with that rifle. Fourth, and then I'll have to reload. Still. Yeah. Um, so 20 to hit. That'll hit. Yep. Yeah. Is he bloody yet? Uh, yeah, let me calculate his HP. Ooh! That's 17 damage. Nice. Ooh. Okay, uh, he has 96 hit points. Hot damn! You are within... 11 hit points. Yep. I'm killing him. And then I reload. You reload with your other action. Okay. And that's that's me. Okay. That's me doomed. Next on the initiative is Captain. <clears throat> All right. Oh, fuck! It is the captain. Fuck! It's not even his turn. Damn. Okay, go. All right, Lagoon will open up first. Take an opening shot at him. Um. Twelve. So he misses. And then I will do my own, and I am going to cast Shatter on him. So, <laughs> he will make a con save on a bird. We'll find out. Uh, you can Shatter uh, organic. It just crits inorganic. It fails. Oh, I succeed. Aw, oh, damn, okay. So I think he takes half. Uh, you get half on the success. Yeah. So, four, seven, seven. Plus seven is eighteen. He dead. Plus seven is twenty-five. So half of that, twelve, thirteen. He's dead. Yeah. He's, he's okay. Dead. He did just enough to. Okay. Shatter. How does this I look? Can't. You cast bird. shatter on the rock. <laughs> I is... shatter a rock. It's normal. <laughs> yeah, but what does it look like? Like, like, how does this look? Uh, kind of muttering an invocation under my breath, reaching out, doing a kind of crush motion, basically trying to. You know, crush it in your hands, essentially, but out there. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, so the bird's, the rock's wings kind of get, like, broken a bit as it just all kind of collapses in on itself. Just basically just kind of crush him like in yeah. a ball. All right. You, you you take it. He's kind of large for a whole ball, but, yeah. The air begins to shimmer around him as it, as it <laughs> crushes Look it out. in a ball. <laughs> and he begins to fall to the ground. Edward Rutherford, dive! As he makes contact on that hill beyond, his forward momentum carrying him into it, his body crashes into the ground. As it crashes into the ground, roll me a perception check. Fourteen. Fourteen. Your character sees a black wisp just flicker off of him. And you see little twinkles in the black black, uh, wisp. Is that our, no, I'm not trained in our kind of, yeah, so. Okay. You're uncertain. You're uncertain what this is. No one else sees this, though. Edward the Vampire. Decadic? Yeah, it's got oh. You see that smoke, leave it. What, what smoke? Some sort of wispy smoke. Yes, but sparkly? Sparkly. I left it. Is that enough to so Is this a technique you, you're familiar with? Idea what that means. Uh, yeah, see how it it's like it, it's like it leaves it and then it no just breath. disappears. They're gonna be having knee problems. Smooth ask Never, your man, I've done that a million times. <laughs> Smooth ask your pet, is anything controlling these things? Is anything controlling the rocks? The big birds? Control? You just killed it. You control it. <laughs> Why did yes. the bird attack us? Because we messed with Sniffleupagus. You bacon. <laughs> He's he called you fat, no. dude. He called you pig. <laughs> Have you seen how skinny I am? Actually, I, picture? Since I'm wearing armor, I'm spam. Salty motherfucker. Spam, spam, spam. Okay, so you move oh, to. Oh, oh. Uh, roll me one more survival check. Survival! As you continue on in the day. Eight! I did not hit a proficient check. You 
rest in the grasslands. It is night again. So we short rest in here, right? Great. You're going to short rest at this point. At least, okay. Uh, somebody roll me d6s. Somebody? Or everybody? Everybody roll me d6s. Are we long resting or short I've resting? I've Neil rolled uh, six. You're attempting a long rest. You've already done your short rest. Four. I assume you've short rested unless it's really bad. Six, four, five, four. Okay. Everybody roll a five. Roll again. We did? This is a four. Everybody who rolled a five. So that you. Was, that's one. <clears throat> go, Johnny, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Five. Johnny, be good. Out of five. God damn it, Johnny. You're like Scarlet. How dare you, Captain? <laughs> Our ten standard of watch abilities. Yeah. Scarlet. Ten standard. <laughs> the most convenient metal I can think of. If you have a better one, I'm all for it. Lead standard. Yeah, that's poisonous. <laughs> oh yeah. Nineteen on initiative, assuming Jeez. we're getting an initiative. During my short rest, I heal. Okay. Uh, throw me a d12. Me? You? Yeah. yeah. I'm fucking it up for everyone. I don't mean it, Seven. Johnny. Seven. Johnny, I love you. <clears throat> and only about the few things I you. said. But you begin to make camp for the night. I don't like the way this is going. As you begin to make camp for the night during your watch, you're kind of just walking around, looking about. And you notice that you've made camp. You didn't notice it at first, but there's, you see an opening along the side of a hill. Uh oh. A cave opening. Seems like a bunch of stones and a cave opening. But you knew there was something odd near it. Looks to be stakes in a circular fashion. Like T bones? No, like stakes. Uh, there's like two stakes <laughs> out of the ground. And then there's sticks all around it, uh, connected together with thrusts of leather. Uh, there appears to be uh, small, thin ropes that seem to be hanging from it, but nothing is in its center. Uh, that is by the cave entrance. Okay. What do you do? I will notify the captain. Captain, it appears to be <clears throat> cave. Did not notice at first, plus signs of it potentially being a dwelling for someone or something. Ask the native, don't bother me with this. Did you slink your head back <laughs> in the coil? Back in. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> First mate's moot. I require your assistance. Why? Why? Yes. Why? You could rouse your little friend there to ask him what that dwelling is over there if he knows. Isn't his name Tuck Tuck? Backpack. <laughs> Isn't his name Tuck Tuck? Or <laughs> what? He's saying Tuck Tuck. I ain't thinking okay. of Tucker. What is it? Well, shit, he does. He's gonna go look over. He just kind of looks at it. That's a cave. <laughs> <laughs> He's here to help. <laughs> he says it's a cave. Is there a cave? Thirteenth warrior, good movie. <laughs> Does he recognize the stakes posted outside of it? As far as who might be dwelling in there. Do you recognize the wooden design out front? <coughs> Are you seeing this cave? Let me. See. Oh. That's huh. it's a drying rack for leathers. Leathers made of yeah. skin. No oh, shit. Who is there? It's a leather drying rack. Hey, buddy. Mm. 
Should we investigate this further or move further away from this spot? Have we made campfire already? Uh, yeah, this is like uh, second watch. Oh. I'm concerned whether whoever was tatting leathers would be friendly or not. Double the watch, be back to sleep. <clears throat> the leather is people. Hey, well, yeah. I'll Soil and pleather. <laughs> <laughs> Feels so smooth and natural on my skin. It's skin tight. <laughs> Look, it even has a tattoo. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, just double the wash, keeping a close eye on that oh, hey. tattoo. One of the okay. comes or goes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Nothing else cold happens soda. during the night. Day breaks. Is the cave still there in the morning? Yeah, yeah. It's still there. Yeah. Sun drop down there. If they point it out, you'll be able to see it. I'll take a sun kiss yeah. if you're drinking digger Green one. Green one. Green one. Yeah. Made with sugar. Thank you. You got a sun kiss tonight? <laughs> okay, what do you guys do? Daylight? Breakfast? Is that cave still to yeah, disturb you, Decadic? Given the unfriendly forces we've been talking about so far, it might be worth checking out just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Should see who's there. <clears throat> when we break camp, we're going to check out this cave. Okay. You go and you begin to investigate the cave. Uh, how do you investigate the cave? You walk in, scout the outside. Uh, I will boldly walk in. Okay. You boldly slither in. Unless you want to walk, then it's like a weird, like... It's really hard to do. Yeah, over here. Okay. Right up there. Uh, <coughs> it's slinky, it's slinky. Oh, <laughs> uh, your character sliv- uh, slithers in. As you slither in... You see what appears to be a giant stone mammoth. You've seen a mammoth before. They're hunted in your country. It's a good source of meat. They live in the jungle. Yeah, yeah. Equivalent of like an Indian elephant, except it's a mammoth. Except it's it. This one is dressed in leathers. It has leathers that have been draped over it, as if it was had dressed the the mammoth. Mammoth is standing proud and tall, uh, its arms outreached with a platter. Uh, on this stone platter that it carries, uh, it has three shining vials. Uh, vials is the wrong word, it's more like a perfume bottle. Uh, it appears to glow, as if these are magical potions, and a beautifully crafted spear with ornated with long rock feathers and uh, tiger hide grips and a what appears to be a very finely made uh, steel tip. If you're not in here with me already, I'm calling you indicating. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> I just... Is there anything, part, like any extra exits out of this particular room that I'm noticing? It appears to be just a giant cave, and this guy just seems to be hanging out in it. At this point, you notice a lot of the leathers look Wait. freshly tanned. Let's say, is this a... Oh, no, you said it was a stone mammoth. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. a giant stone statue. mammoth. Statue. Okay. Yeah, the statue's okay. probably twice your height. Little buddy. Who's the elephant? <laughs> nice! Major your importance? Who's yep. the elephant? Hell yeah. At this point, you're getting better. You can almost have full conversations with him. Elephant. No, it's a mammoth. mammoth. Okay. Who's the mammoth? I don't know. I come trotting in. What the fuck you got? Oh my dear God. Is this a religion check that I could make? Actually, yes. Are you trained in religion? Probably not. Not a history check? <laughs> no, this would be a religion check. Uh, I'm trained in religion. Or proficient in religion. I am not proficient in religion. <laughs> ah, but you asked. Go ahead, make okay. me a religion check. It means it is a challenging challenge, because you're not trained. 
Which is 15. 14. Oh. No. oh. Fuck. By one. Do you want to assist him? Yes, I will. Okay. You two discuss it for a little bit. It is now a DC 13 on your second roll. While they're doing that, uh... 18. I'm super proficient in investigating. I'd just like to start looking around the rest of the cave. <clears throat> okay. As you two are talking out, before you you do any identifying the potions, uh, nice. and I will get and why this is happening, roll me investigation check. Fancy are you are you proficient? It's a blue dot, so I'm gonna say I'm like super proficient. Oh, is this a expertise or is this like does it have a circle on it or? It's blue instead of black. Really? Okay. What's your score in it? Uh, plus five. Proficiency blue. Oh, 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 it's probably because you used uh, your skill thing in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do, you, you're proficient. Uh, it is a DC uh, 13. Okay. It's a difficult challenge. Oh, man. I got an 8. Okay. We're in a cave. There's some rocks over here. The rocks form around it. This is a cave. We're in a cave. That elephant isn't very hairy. Wait, guys, guys, guys. It's actually a statue of Mammoth, not a real one. Don't worry, relax. Now we're about to get in another fat. It was a stone mammoth wrong. in the sense that it was, you know, it's like a stone giant. I mean, it's still a threat. Is there a gazebo nearby to attack? <clears throat> what? Decayed it. Check out the spear, damn it. Hold on. I'm trying to place doing that reference religion and I'm not sure. sure. The gazebo? The infamous gazebo incident? But the where didn't know what a gazebo was. Uh, yeah, there. <laughs> okay, uh, with your religion it's check, you know that the uh, the mastodon. Uh, I I apologize. This is a mastodon, not a mammoth. Oh well, is, fucking get it right. Basically, Tony. like a version broken. 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 It's, it's it's a big goddamn elephant. The big <laughs> the mastodon. Uh, you know that mastodons are seen as totem animals. They are. Symbols of strength, and they are not quite godlike, but they are considered spiritually powerful. Uh, lower celestials. If this was uh, a totem to a mastodon uh, spirit uh, animal, does that make sense? That's so this is an offering to a totem god. Okay. The man this game. He's <laughs> falling out, man. So loose. Yeah, it's tough. It's How tough. Well, yeah. tough. I uh, either way. You're guessing somebody that can work leathers. Definitely not the uh, uh, the the the, the money people. Yeah, they're they're called like peta palapina. Don't one of these be the, like, slightly yeah. larger? You think? Not Maybe necessarily. It doesn't have to be. So we got a mastodon statue. Shot on a pterodactyl. It's saw some saber tooth tigers earlier. We just need a Triceratops and a Tyrannosaurus. We got all five Power Rangers in this It's definitely not worshipped by the Phantom, because this guy doesn't know what we know they are. Uh, so possibly maybe the locals? Not the locals? But this is definitely far away. This guy is not a local you've ever heard of. This is an You've never offering. met this race before. Oh, yeah, I knew that much. Yeah, yeah. This He's is an offering to, to a god. Yeah. They're that smooth He's seasick. He's definitely... He definitely is is a local, but not the locals like the villagers. They're south of the wall. This is an offering to a god. Maybe we shouldn't mess with it. Oh, so natives versus locals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Check out this spear. I have these vials. So look at them. Identify them. Yes. You have to touch them to identify them. Ooh. Do you want to do it, punk? This is apparently a religious offering, Captain. It may not be wise to disturb it. <laughs> to a god we've never heard of? <laughs> because we've never heard of a god doesn't mean it cannot smite you to a furious anger. <clears throat> when it lays its hands upon thee. I'm gonna grab the spear, because I'm curious about it. Yay! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I knew you wanted to do it. I knew you wanted to do it. Let me look. Let me look. All right. Someone, all remove the trees, well, and build me a uh, cave-like surrounding. Uh, so actually, you know what? 
take all those hills and trees and put them off to the side. And yeah, yeah, this this is cave like. This is cave like. I like this. I like this. Here, take this. We're on the moon. That's gonna be the cave. We're on a big pile of salt. Hear me now. Oh, what the fight a the or it's the white sand hills. Guys, if you die, apologies. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Put those scales around it. <laughs> 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 and also, whatever these files are, which we're going to check out next. I don't even know how dangerous them at random. Is. I haven't even looked at it. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> put this near the front, the smaller end. There were three files, right? No, first you, three you, people. You guys, you guys are all in it. So just pretend oh, that's where? the beginning where? of the cave. Inside of it. Okay. Yeah. Pretend that's pretend that outline is the cave. Uh, okay. Put the, put those stones in the cave, so it's like uh, terrain inside. Okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> Mighty crowded. Yeah. There we go. That rock is the altar. Now Take I. It. I do not have a. Put this guy right up front. This is the. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a stone mastodon on me. Sorry, immersion broken. I know. Yeah, like Fuck. what's the point of all these figs if you don't have one ready for every single possible thing you can? Every make? single possible. Surely thing. you have one in one of your boxes upstairs or whatever. Yeah. Your thousand. Wake your wife up and have her paint us on it right now. Do it now. Paint it blue for the reason, woman. The blue stone mastodon. With a splash of green. Stone mastodon. Wearing leathers. Brown leathers. Yeah, I was wondering, by the way, is this like battle leathers or is it like kinky leathers? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's actually, it's more like, uh, uh, so these leathers would be more of uh, Fred Flintstone leathers. Fashion. Big man leathers. So the kinky leathers, all right. <laughs> Give me a second, I have to actually look at this yes, thing. Stack it. block is... So are Fred Flintstone like partial furry, furries? Yes. No? What? My Flintstones were fur, but, yeah. but they don't dress up as But I wear animals. leathers, and not the kinky kind, <laughs> usually. <laughs> not when I leave that. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, they did have that club where they were like the buffalo pants. Maybe they are. Maybe he was a furry. Ah, uh, yeah. So, Ooh, cosplay. Yeah. Okay. The mass, uh, I need you. You do have the spear in your hand. Yeah. It is a it is a spear. Cool. Cool. It uh, may have effects. It may have. You don't know what it is yet. You haven't identified it. Uh, so, but I do need everyone to roll me initiative because yep. we are in combat. Oh, great. I don't know how it happened, guys. Oh, Damn. sweet baby Jesus. Ooh. Seventeen, Neil. You mean I got seventeen? Maybe. <laughs> I didn't say I had, I just said 17. Okay. Could it's more end. like you're asking for permission. <laughs> Is it okay if I go first? 17? 16. <laughs> Damn. 11. Okay. I got 10. I do like the, like, all the bad guys' stats are, like, all here. I do have to look for them. That's just kind of a pain in the ass. I thought you had all the little pages marked. I, I have all the encounter pages marked, and then it tells me, like, Section A for like the monsters. There's a monster section. Uh, not a megalodon. It's a mastodon. Okay. Uh, this thing has a negative one deck, so that's an 18 on the bad guy. Son of a bitch. I had a 17. He's above me. Oh, did he? Oh. Yep. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. All right. Can I last through one round? Uh, we'll find out. Bring it on. Unless somebody wanted to make his initiative smaller. He can't. Oh, you can't, I guess. Slightly smaller, I could, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, if you don't choose not to do anything. We'll grin and bear it. Yeah. If I die, I die. This is the price I pay for my A hundred foot cone. <laughs> what? What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. Uh, Kill us all. The, a, the, the stone doesn't move. But what does move is the spectral version of the stone. Oh, shit, a ghost light. came out of it. Yeah. A spectral version oh, of a guess. mastodon that looks exactly like it, adorned in leathers, very similar to that which is adorned in the statue. Yeah. And it swipes at you. As it does, it screams. <laughs> As it does, a hundred mastodons seem to explode from a portal beyond it. 
ghost-like and charge through all of you. I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and say I rolled a 15, so 18 total. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you weren't comfortable with the thing you rolled? No, no. <sighs> I don't know if this would be good enough, but... That's comfortable if you just go, you know, yeah. fuck it, I'm going to take this one instead. 22 slash 13. 22 and 13. Let me uh, raise your hand if you don't make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. Uh, Lagoon did not. Okay. Oh, the other characters get plus 6. You can figure That's out. right. If they're yeah, proficient in wisdom, if not... Oh! Yeah, if oh, yeah. Sure. He was fine. Yeah. Uh, <clears> yeah. I fucked up. He's not proficient in okay. wisdom. I also got caught with my drawers around my ankles. This could suck. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so I apparently hit my back to the altar. Doesn't matter. He missed anyway. Huh? Oh god. It's five D ten. Oh, there's at least twenty damage. You might be dead, gentlemen. Okay. Uh who has a retainer? That that what? made it. That made it? Yeah. I made it. Your retainer takes one level of damage. Ow. Yeah. It's a third level retainer, I believe. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, your, did your retainer make it? No, he failed. He takes two levels of damage. Okay. Ow. Uh, everyone who made it made takes... five, right? Everyone who made it takes uh, half of 31, so 16 damage. If you fail, you take 32 psychic damage. Ow. As the spectral mastodons fly through your bodies. Shit, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. You ever see that scene in the in, in the Lion King? This is that scene with the spectral mastodons. <laughs> They're like real buffalo. Like never mind. Oh, uh, we just got Mufasa. You got you got Mufasa. <laughs> All right. Oh, you, Mufasa uh, that's pretty much his turn. That's that's his entire action. Uh, ouch. As it screams and cute monster wrangle that camera closer. Now you want it closer. I do want it closer. There you go. You have to point it down. There you go. That works. Okay. Next in the initiative is <laughs> Tom. Put the spear back. Put okay. the candle back. <laughs> I need to drop the spear. It's okay. Very On the altar. And use my great sword instead. Okay. And use pull that out. Half your movement to draw to your sword. Half that. Okay. Then we're going to hex the ghost. Hex the ghost. That's your bonus action. And then we're going to smack it. Hopefully. Smack it with a sword. Is your sword magical? It sure is. It's my great sword of warning. Oh, okay. It can hit then. And it's a packed weapon. It uh, doesn't make house for anything. I don't oh, know. yeah, yeah. Packed yeah, weapons. Uh, packed it up at this Packed point. weapons are considered magical weapons. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Which hey. curse do you do? Hex blades curse or? No, just regular hex. Hex. Okay. Hex. Yeah. Okay. All right. First attack missed, unless you're telling me it has a 9 AC. <laughs> Or sorry, 11. Does it have 11 AC? That's a good question. Uh, it has a... Uh, Second one got a 24. It has an AC of 13. Okay. You told us already. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. Fuck. You didn't, uh, you're going to hit it three times. Yeah. The second one, I say first one missed, second one hits, and that will do... Two. Two. Three. Is seven plus five is 12. So 12 damage on my hit. The goon will hunter's market and attack it. Okay, so they might survive one round. We'll see. And 15 on the dice, so he will hit. So hit. Is his weapon magical? Uh, no. He just has whatever the basic bow that he starts with is. The arrow flies through. Okay. Oh, now, I am useless. So hunter's mark can't do anything or anything there, right? No. I have no bad. Uh, Not sure if it would do hunter's mark damage here. only as it flies. No, okay, uh, Hunter's thing. Mark just amplifies oh, right. the normal okay. damage. Hey, you got a plus one weapon. That's magic. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, you got a plus one rifle. That's technically considered magic. Okay, so that's our choice. Of course, your character doesn't know that. Sure. Your goon is flustered. You could, might maybe survive something from his annoyance. You hunt men until they're dead, but you stop at that point normally. Okay, cool. Trey. Trey. Would I have, because I just saw the arrow pass harmlessly through, <coughs> would I, 
You saw the arrow pass harmlessly through, but you saw the sword make contact in the spectral body and tear at it. Okay. So at this point, you're like, I don't know. Uh, do you want to make a quick check at disadvantage? Sure, yeah. Uh, what kind of check do you want me to make? Arcana. Since it's a quick check, it's a disadvantage. I'm going to say it's difficult. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Nah, I roll a one. Roll a one. Yeah, you think using that rifle is going to be useless. Ghost. He All definitely right. used a sword. You should use a sword. <laughs> That's what I'm going to fucking do. I draw my saber. Yes. And I charge into battle. Charge into battle. Alongside my captain. Uh, half That's the spirit. You have 15 feet of movement left. Because you, I believe it takes half your movement to draw your sword unless you have uh, and two weapons Eight? fighting, I think, right? Two weapons? Uh, which one allows you to be able to quick draw? I don't know. I remember Pathfinder's rule. It's like, charge, as long as you have plus one BAB, it's free to draw your weapon. Oh, yeah. Or, da, da, da. In, in this one, takes half your movement to draw. Okay. There's a couple situations in which it doesn't, but there's some classes. Like some other things. I think I, will, uh, I think, yeah, I think yeah. two weapon fighting allows you to be able to draw a weapon only using five feet of movement. Huh. Yeah, maybe you're not five, that's me. Five, ten, fifteen. Are you gonna make your attack? I can't. I'm, oh, I'm you're five outside. feet away. Am I about five feet away? I'm right, right there. Right there. Yeah, because yeah. you were right there. Five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, you can get with a melee. Okay. It is. It is a <coughs> large creature. How about the you some bitch? Uh, maybe hit. With a uh, but the but the fifteen. Get your sword magical. Nope. Nope. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> make that Arcana check now with advantage. Now that you've done it. DC still thirteen. Uh, I got twelve. <laughs> Fuck! Maybe you should try again. I didn't, I didn't have enough feeling in it. Didn't have enough feeling in it. All right, yeah, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. You didn't want it bad enough. I didn't want it bad enough. Oh, that's a worse shit. Uh, that's 11. 11 misses I, again. I missed the ghost completely. I don't even pass through it. I don't know. You convince the sword will work eventually. The sword's going to be fine. You hit it with the sword. I'll hit it with the sword. Everybody hit it with the sword. <laughs> it's wake the swords. <laughs> it's got to wake I the sword. It doesn't have sword resistance. All right, next to the initiative. Johnny. Mm. Johnny. Johnny. What are you doing? Well, we're in a cramped cave. <coughs> My stronger spells <laughs> tend to have a bit of a blast <coughs> Uh how, how tall is the roof to this cave? Uh, it's actually only about 15 feet. It's it, it the, okay. the, the statue itself is about almost hitting the height of okay. this cave. Motherfucker. Uh. And it's masked on. It doesn't Johnny, do what you think is best. I want to run the fuck away. I don't want to fight this fucking masked on. Okay, do what's best after that. <laughs> I mean... Fuck. Got lots of spells. What are you going to do? Got lots of spells. This ghost-like thing. They charge some charges in my wand, magic missiles. So. Fuck, he's right there in front of me, so I can't get out of attack range. Yeah, well, there's no. Yeah, range attacks are a disadvantage. Even for spells, if you're within melee. Well, magic missile. Oh, magic missile will automatically hit. Yeah. And the save ones you don't have to worry about. So. It'll automatically hit at disadvantage. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Triple disadvantage. Does it still work? Fuck. I'll do. Use my wand to cast five. Fifth level charge of magic missile. Okay, five. That's uh, six, seven. There's seven D4 in this five, case. Six, seven, yeah. There's three. Yeah, yeah. Four, five. So, yeah. Yeah, seven. Seventy-four plus seven. Twenty-three damage. Um, Twenty-three damage. Takes it all. Ghost Mastodon. Twenty-three. Little bullets of energy explode all over it. As it does a roar. 
<coughs> Next on the initiative is Neil. Neil, what are you doing? This fucking spectral ghost, mastodon, celestial, you're not even sure. Actually, you know what? No, shit. No, I'd be giving that to you. Actually, no, no. I can't tell you. I gave you what I gave you. I'm going to cast Shield of Faith. Bonus action. Okay. And then, uh... Regular action, activate the sword. Regular action, you activate the sword. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm gonna move. Can I push him back or drag him back out of the way? Uh, yeah, actually, technically, you could. I'll allow you to use part of your activation to push him back. Give me a strength check, though, uh, because you're using one action for two purposes. Strength, huh? Mm-hmm. Not save, but check. Nine. Nine. Okay. You're not that heavy. He pushes you back. You get pushed back five feet. Reaction. Smoot, take it down. Okay. You can use your action. You can use your reaction to make an attack now. Okay. Let's see. AC's 13. I roll a 14 on the die. That'll hit. I'm going to smite. Okay. You declare a smite. Uh, what level? Highest level would be two. Two. So that would be one, two, three, four d8. It's undead. Mm -hmm. Undead and demons. Does the fire affect it? Uh, fire does affect it. It's okay. Have resistance. So four d8 plus two d6. Five d8. Five is your weapon damage. Oh yeah. Plus two d6. Okay. So at this point, with the extra explosion of light, you know this thing is undead. Is a mastodon spirit. Thirty-nine points of damage. Thirty-nine points of damage. Go ahead and throw that down there. Seventy-four. Seventy-four. Is this thing bloody yet? Please be bloody. Uh, yes, it has one hundred and twenty hit points. I think. Can you one throw nope. it away? Nope. Nope. Yeah. <clears throat> it's one hundred twenty hit points. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully it doesn't get back to its turn. It is its turn. Oh, all right. Let's see if it recharges its ability. I hope not. It does not. On a D6, it would have, and that would have been five more D10. Uh, oh, uh, before I forget, my little minion guy, the healer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he going to heal himself, heal somebody else? What He's he going to... Uh, He's third level. Uses a siren. Okay. And he's going to put it on... Trey. Trey, you next attack you make gets a deep or save gets a deep or. Yeah, that the attack roll or the save roll. <laughs> if a mass just once just, though, right? Yeah. Is that permanent? Yeah, no, it's just one just once. It's not quite as cool as Bless. Yeah. But it's still a thing. Okay, it is going to make a gore attack against uh, fuck, who hit it? You hit it the most, so mm -hmm. it'll be Gore Tech against you. I'm just whiffing against him. You hit it the most somehow, Neil. Yeah. It's like you smote it. <laughs> smoot it. Smoot, smell, smoot, smite. <laughs> I smooted it. The smoot, smoot. I cast smoot. Good, but smite it. Smoot, 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 smoot. Uh, fuck, that's not enough. That's a huge attack, too. He misses. Thank God. Uh, Sorry, you're here. Damn it. <laughs> Three, six plus five. You're gonna look pretty and get people to bang themselves on their armor, on your armor. Okay. Uh, that's Thank it's you. that's its turn. Uh, it makes one of those. It made a spectral ghost attack with its tusks. One, and it missed. Next thing is the spectral tusk. Bang, bang it off my shield. shield. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually, it does bang against your shield because it's enchanted. Yep. Magic so close. Reflected. Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. 
If you didn't have magical shield and armor, I'd be able to negate that. Do 46 that damage, please. All right, we've got a bonus action. We're going to do a Hexblade's Curse on him now. So that's out and on top. And let's hit him. New extra damage. You crit on 19 to 20. All right, that's a 16 on the die. So that's one hit. That's one hit. And the second one is a 14 on the die. So that's another hit. Wonderful. Okay. And that will be five, seven, 13, okay, and then 17, 22, 20, 25, 25 plus 8 plus 8, uh, six, 25 plus 16, 41. Damn! 115. It's five from death. Damn it, I should have smoked. Oh well, too late. Alright, uh, Lagoon shoots him. Oh, it goes through. It hit him, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just whoosh. But he was like, all right! Damn it! Impossible! <laughs> Inconceivable! Oh, my God. There you go. Master There's Dog the made a fatal mistake. Pray Never go up go. against a halfling when death is alive. Oh, my God. I'll take a swing with my sword. <laughs> oh. All right, thanks. That's what he's going to be. I'll fucking right. miss. <laughs> Damn it, that... I'm going to ride through. I'd... Roll me an Arcana check. you got advantage. DC's 13. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Oh, it has to be a magical weapon. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I knew it came from out of magic. That's sword. Half, half a movement to sheath. Back away. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk out of the cave. Do you want to use your action to disengage? Yes, <laughs> I want to disengage. Okay. okay. Do you, I don't know, you want to second wind yourself? What are you doing? You got a bonus action left. Do I want to... Do I want to... Oh... Fuck it. We haven't been in a fight yet today, have we? Correct. We just got up after a nap and went to the game. This is the morning. Cool. <laughs> action surge! This might be our whole day right here. Action surge! Alright, you get to take two more actions. Or one more action. Which could be. <laughs> Repeating rifle. First shot! Oh, 19. Cool. Cool. Um, 9 plus 7. 16. 16. That'll yeah. hit. Okay, cool. That's minimum damage. damage will kill it. I'm glad you do 5 damage. We believe in you. Oh, I did more than 5 damage. Yeah, I did. did. I did many damage. Yeah. So, that is the number so I like you to get. How does it look to kill this Mastodagon totem spirit? Oh With the guns. Um, like shooting cotton candy. I'm not going to say what just popped into my mind because that's horrible. Please do. You're going to say it. Huh? You're going to say it. Yeah, it's horrible. Tracy. All all five of our viewers will become one. Tracy. What? Sandra. So, in the spirit of every mighty white hunter that's shot an African elephant in Africa. Let's well, say we did it. <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but I feel hesitant now. And I just shoot it right between the eyes twice. Bang, bang. And it just kind of... See, there was oh, no danger okay. here at all. You shoot the stone statue twice in the head. The stone statue cracks a little bit. It doesn't crumble. It doesn't fall apart. The spirit moves away. It yeah. slowly yeah. begins to disappear. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Narcisse cult had a more powerful god than this. Peace through superior firepower. With all due respect, Captain. Ow, what the fuck! Shit? You worry too much, Smoot. Did we think... almost die? Yes, yes, we all worry greatly. You I look just fine. My ass. Does anyone like seriously hurt for reference? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh really? Like like half health. health. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Full of health. I mean, it kind of hurt a little. <laughs> kind of hurt a little. Your, your companions are almost dead. Oh, jeez, guys. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, though. It's fine. I started the fight. I'm like, yeah, this, this is fine. Been, this could have been something else. It's fine. Uh, you, I'm guessing you identify. 
He's gonna identify all our shit. Yes, I will identify the unless desecrated you want to, altar. I say, unless you want to do it out of spite now. To grab, and I will decide who gets these <laughs> items. Hey, well, that's religious matter. man, paladin. Like, what do you know about places like this? Did we just prove ourselves in some sort of ritual fight against the god of Ephelops? We or just defiled the temple. Fuck. That god is going to come after us at an inopportune time. We should leave everything here. The item... Oh, I'm sorry. You, I think you, you overestimate how much the Were you identifying came. or not? Oh, I'm identifying, yes. Uh, it's a plus one spear. This nothing temple in the middle of nowhere. What is uh, this nothing loot? Three potions is a potion of climbing, a potion of superior healing, and a potion of swimming. Is that plus one spear? Plus one spear. <laughs> nothing else. Oh, nothing else that we know of yet. No, you you know what the potions are. Yeah, a potion. But the potion. Or sorry, the spear specifically. You just, plus one spear. Right now, it's just a plus one. All we know. Oh, the the spear. Is that, yeah, the spear is just a plus one. Oh, okay. It won't ever have any extra effects. No. Okay. No. If you put it back on the altar, would it have stopped? Would it have? <laughs> this could happen again. <laughs> I can't tell put you. it back on. <laughs> Take it off. Just, you know, farm Take the spear with us when we desecrate another temple. We'll Indiana Jones it for whatever items. Climbing, superior healing, and what? Swimming. Swimming. Great. A bunch of fucking shit. Why'd we grab this again, Captain? No one else seemed to be using it. It was using Should the plus we put one. to better use? It was using the plus one spear. Uh, I don't actually have a good use for that. <laughs> <laughs> you can always, uh, guys, the, uh, if you can always give an well, item to Well, thank you. We're to our crewmates, though. One of them's going to have a plus one spear, if nothing else. Yeah. Someone's going to get Also, it. I'm from now and forever referring to this as the Heffalum Temple. <laughs> Until then, unless someone wants it, I'm going to hold on to it in case it seems useful. You're going to, like, I will gladly give it to cast someone. it while, like, fishing. <laughs> ha! Fuck, there goes that big fish. Potion of climbing <laughs> gives you a huge bonus to climbing. Potion of swimming gives you a swimming speed of 30 feet for one hour. Potion of superior healing, uh, I think that's what, 8d4? Plus 8, something like that? It's the blue one. Yeah. Blue one? Yeah. Potion of superior healing. I didn't know that they had colors. Yeah, they do. The, the, the normal one is green. So who wants to make camp in this cave? You guys can always take a sh- no. take a take a short rest, and you can heal your hit die. Yeah. At least like, you guys have like five hit die. That healer three. guy has extra heals to go around for people. Oh yeah, yeah. He died. Um, so that was so healer's gonna heal himself for one. Okay, so that will heal a level. Uh, the other one took two levels worth of damage. So two on that one. Okay, they're fully healed. And then we have. Oh, what about Groom Blast? What did he save? Did he no. save? No. No, that wasn't one of his saves. So he would have oh. taken he would have taken two. Okay. Oh. Okay. So there's the five heals from the healer. Okay. All right. The healer has healed for the day. You may want to rest Short though, and or call it a night. Either way. Yeah, well, we'll we'll, pro- we'll, pro- we'll we'll definitely call it a night. You guys can choose the long rest or short rest. Uh, you guys got a week to figure that out. Uh, all right. A week or two weeks. Two weeks. Sorry, two weeks to figure that out. So did a bunch of you fail to save then against the yeah. thrower? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I was like, that didn't hurt that bad. Oh, I my made literal poop got pushed into no. my butt. I made the save, and it still fucking yeah. hurt me. Well, it was it was thirty it was thirty two damage, so like half of that. I rolled pretty decent on those d10s. So. Did you? Five d10. Did you? Five d10. Ability to recharge is over six. half of a of fifty possible. That's not bad. Twenty four was the. Uh, yeah, I think we want to take a long rest. Yeah. I think we're a little pooped out after mm-hmm. that. My poor companion seemed tired. Say, and it's the morning. You guys can literally, you guys have about 50 points for the healing of peace in like your... I need like 32 of that. Dude, I'm like you three have, points you five, down. <laughs> uh, Neil, you got 5d10 dice you can roll. D10s oh. you can roll on a short rest. Oh. And each one has a means? con to it. Yep. Yeah. You have literally each of your hit die. You have pretty much all your hit points worth of healing you can apply. Okay. In a short rest. Oh, I just took a long rest, so. Oh. 
And on a, on a long rest, you kill half of those uh, hit points. Yeah, and back. you always get half of those back on a long rest. Okay. So That's why short rest is so days, useful. You can just full. burn them to pretty much heal. So after a big battle, you can take a short rest and pretty much heal <clears> and be fine. Like, your shit recharges on a short rest. Yeah. Uh, all the fighter stuff recharges on a short rest. You can get back spells on a short rest. Paladins, uh... You can get back spells uh, on a short rest? Short yeah, rest? Uh, yeah so Warlock. Is. Warlocks get spells. Well, I know I do. Him, though. Uh, I'm just glad you pointed at him. Yeah, normal wizards. Uh, you have the arcane rejuvenation. Uh, you can get back half your level worth of spells on a short rest. Nice. Once per day. Okay. So what, you're fifth level? So that's a up to, uh, I round up, so three levels of spells. So you can get back a fireball. If you blow a fireball. Your mom's a fireball. These guys out since they're actively on the adventure yeah. with us. Yeah. So uh, I'll end the stream there. I will stop streaming and stop recording.